Indeed, it is time for the dark world of streaming at bad hair. Oh man, what's happening here? Okay, guys, this is the finale, or not the finale, but it's kind of like the final stretch, right? We need to turn this mess into a video game. And uh, yesterday we've been working a little bit on the Halo finishing animation. I think I, I, I'm no, I'm struggling with this. I probably should just like do something and move on with this. But I kind of like I feel the need to make it really nice and pretty. And I realized something yesterday. I was I've been thinking about this, and I didn't want to you know open a new can of worm yesterday. I just wanted to to uh, 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 try to get as far as I can with the tools that I had. But today it's can oh. Warm of kind of warm opening time, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so the thing I want to be doing today is I want to finally um, uh, settle for a color palette and uh, finally get my uh, color fading functions going. I think this is important. Um, the reason for this being that I think a lot of the particle effects that we had yesterday they were kind of really nice but I was missing the fading out effect and there was no, not a good way of, for me to go from like this you know very vibrant green that I was using into just you know fading it out into white uh, and I think this might be a very important key to good particle animations like creating color fades for the animations um, so there's just so much I can do uh, without a color fading table and I cannot do a color fading table if I don't have a color palette set up so everything is kind of like linked it's it sucks Ugh. horrible okay um, <laughs> um so I'm gonna take my dirty color pal this uh, and I'm gonna save. Uh, uh, I'm gonna reboot. Uh, shapes. Let's save. Color. I'm gonna put it in here. Let me put up a little testing environment so we can test the color fade so everything works. I'm actually gonna use some co website that I have, but it's gonna be a bit difficult because the color palette is. It will see. Maybe, maybe I'm just overthinking things. Um, there is a really good uh, website by Cometen Bomb that gr generates color fading tables, but it does it only globally for the display palette and not for the draw palette. And I want to have um, the color fading table that also works with a draw palette, so I can do both. So I can fade out the entire screen if I want to, or I can also fade out a particle. I can. I, <laughs> Get yourself a color fading table that can do both. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. And I think that the tool by Comet and Bomb doesn't quite work for that. So I, just in case, I'm going to roll my own code. Um, and I'm going to try to adapt the Comet and Bomb stuff as much as I can do. I think it's Comet and Bomb. And I, I will show you in a second. What I mean. And there's a cool trick that I learned. I mean, it's not really a trick, but instead of doing like a four next loop and, and you know obsessing about about those rectangles, you just draw a little sprite, scale it up, and call it a day. Okay, so we're gonna go pal T. Hello, Mr. Streamer. Hello, HE. Uh, catch 33, that's a nice trick indeed. Uh, I, I, uh, I think I think so too, yeah. I think this is this this is this is the this is the laziness that you tune in for. <laughs> uh, something like this? But is that is that worth it? Wow. Why was it green? CLS? Oh, 
underscore. Oh yeah, because this was executed. <laughs> okay. Um, let me let me let me comment this out real quick. I just want to. Oh gosh. Laser's <laughs> Academy naming strikes out. That's right. That's right. You're damn right. Okay, so so far this is my color palette. I have a very dark. I have three greens. Interestingly, I have um, an, a bunch of oranges. And one of the grays is a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. Yes, so let's see if we can make this commit and bomb uh, tool work. Is what I'm talking about this is the fade generator. Uh, is it commit and, commit and bomb? Yeah, commit bomb, not commit and bomb. Commit bomb. Uh, is it a, like a comet bomb? Is that the idea? I never know. I never knew. I never knew. So the idea is that you have like this code here, and if you put it in here, blah, 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 it fades the the stuff, right? You can set the percentage of how much it's fading. That looks good. And then you can set a target color. That's probably even better than because that's actually what we want to do. We want to all, uh, have a color table that fades into white. Um, but the problem is that this is the standard color palette, and we want to use our you know special color palette. And also this goes, I think, through yeah, this goes through uh, the hidden colors. So actually, we want to turn off the hidden colors. So we're gonna get you know, slightly less r r slower less um less resolution <laughs> yeah um more and a bit more rough fading slightly more rough fading but um it's just using the uh, the regular color palette but something that you cannot do in this tool is to you know to define a color palette and say like i want to use this color palette and then calculate the fades based on that color palette that you defined there you can redefine the source color palette that's a weird thing so, for example, here I can say like like in my tool, right? This is this is my color palette. So I can like reset this to to do what how I have it set up. Uh, and this is I think this orange is it? Yeah, I think it is. Is it this orange? No, 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 it's not. And this gray is this gray. All right, so this is my source palette, but now, of course, when we're fading, we're using colors that we don't have in our palette. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, this lime color here, we don't have that in our color palette. And that's okay if you're using the screen palette fading function, right? If you just like replace all of the colors on the screen by a certain color, that's okay. Uh, but we want to be able to use this function for draw palette. And in that case, we just can't do it, right? So that's not not something that we can we can do. We can we could maybe turn this off, but does that even work then? I feel it's just like it reverts to yeah. See, it's just like I don't know. It's just I, I especially look at the green. The green doesn't seem great. Great. It should go through a different sequence. The green right now, but maybe it's a good starting point, right? Maybe it's not too bad. I mean, there's just a couple of colors that we have to fix. The green definitely has to be fixed. Um, the orange might, the orange might, this might be, might be actually okay. Uh, the gray, uh, the gray is, I don't think the gray looks good. That looks like it's turning darker. So we have to fix that as well. 
Yeah, okay. So let's do a to-do list. Fix green. Fix gray. Orange. Question. But also, before we start diving into this, we also need to find out if we actually maybe need later some, some other colors later. And this is, you know, this is why I think doing prep work like this, I, 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 I did some prep work, right? And uh, that it turns out to be really, really important. Because look, here it, it kind of like, I, I, I have the opportunity now to kind of like find out what I need. Uh, and that's just so important, right? Okay, so this orange is the same. What about this yellow? Okay, so this just like these colors reverse, so we don't need that. We need this. What about this red color? Which one is it? Is it, is it just like this color? No, this red color is from somewhere else. Oh, that's this color. So we need to get this color somehow. Uh, give me the hidden colors. That's this, this color. We need to get that in, in there somehow. Could we replace the red? Might be worthwhile. I kind of do like having the red though. Um, we're not using the red anywhere, so we could replace the red with that. So let's do like a to-do list of the colors we need. Uh, alt red. This one we have, this one we also already have, that's already the, the new orange that we have. Um, what about the green? So this, the greeny green ones. We have the green, we have this green. So these are just the standard greens, these are not specials. We are actually using a different green anyway. Do we actually went away from this design anyway? Um, this color is new, as I said. This pink is old. I feel like it might be worthwhile getting hold of that dark, of that, of that pink color here. But we're not using it anywhere, so... And this blue, these blue, oh, this is also a new blue. Uh, wait, we're not using that anywhere? What kind of blue am I using? Let me take a look. I did replace that blue, right? Oh, wow, I did not? I did not? Let me take a look at it. At it. This, this can't be. I'm pretty sure I'm using the blue. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure because if I click on escape, it turns darker. So I, yeah, I am using that blue. But at somehow, wait, this blue should be in num color number 12, right? It's, it's nowhere here. We have 11, that's the green. Did I miss it somehow? There it is, I just missed it. Pfft. Oh, look at me. What am I putting? <sighs> okay, so this is also this. See, good thing I'm, I'm going through all of this stuff. 
All right, so these two colors, yeah, that should be it. So we just need, like, it's, it's not too much that we need to add. We just need to add the, the, you know, the weird red. And maybe we can just replace the... I feel we might just, like, replace the, the normal red with it. Because, realistically, which color can we get rid of? This one we already replaced. Um, no, we didn't replace this one. We replaced this one. Oh, we might replace this one just. This this dark red. Because this is already dark red-ish, you know? Let's do that. Because I don't think we're ever going to use a dark color like this. I don't think so. Let me look at the designs. Yeah, this is the darkest we will go. This is a pretty dark color for our game. I, our game is generally bright. Okay, so let's, let's do that replacement. So we're going to go Cal. Uh, a zero one two comma and it's gonna be eight plus hundred twenty eight comma one oh yeah see now now we're getting now we're getting we're getting to our color palette it's a very very much brighter color palette so in this case in this tool this will turn into this how late am I? Hey, Marina Mix, uh, you're not too late. We're, I'm just messing around with the color palette. I'm creating, creating a tool um, so I can um, so I can create a color fade table, so I can replicate all of the, all of the designs that I'm, I came up with. By the way, here are some kind of like alternate color choices that I was testing with. I think if we have like this many colors, I would be kind of happy. So let's just try to use this color palette. Uh, now again, if we've used the fading table, that's kind of okay, but now you can see that the red is not fading. Like it should probably jump to the normal red, but now it goes straight for orange. So I don't know, this is, this is just not a good color fading palette, uh, but we're gonna use it for now. Just copy this over and then we can mess around with it. Oh yeah, I didn't copy it out of here. What am I? What am I doing? Okay. Um, fade I. Uh, if I pl if floor I plus one is greater than sixteen, then. Uh, I plus one. So wait, I, I didn't get any manual on how to use this. So it's, it's just, just that, that how it works. Let me, let me use this. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, sure. Fade, fade zero, fade one. What's the deal here? Okay, so it definitely turns white. Yeah, I feel like this is the... I don't know how they use it. Okay. Um, let us... Um, uh, okay, let, let us do create a uh, variable called like something like... Uh, Uh, I'm gonna set it to zero. 
gonna set it to say F. We're gonna print F at coordinate one one with this color. Nah. Let's put it to seven. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, mm. Print it with 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 this color. That's color thirteen. Um. And then if bt bt btnp then else if and and then f equals f plus plus one f equals f minus one and then we're gonna go f equals mid zero f uh what does what does function say uh the other day i accidentally posted a gif of my game st starting without fading i panicked then someone made a comment about how juicy the transition looked so now i'm just debating it debating it at all Well, I don't know. Listen, people see what they see and they will say like, wow, that looks amazing. But they don't see your vision. You know, they don't see how good the game could be looking. So maybe the game looks awesome and looks even more awesome without the fading, if you know what I'm saying. That's what I'm, that's, that's, my, that's my theory here. Do, 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 do. Okay, the fading works. So that's basically what I wanted. I mean, screen fading from like home menu to gameplay. Yeah, I mean, maybe your fade was, I don't know. I, um, I usually think you should do something like this. I mean, you should be, probably you should be quicker than you think. The fading only really works when it's really fast. Okay, so which fading doesn't doesn't look good? So let's just address fading number zero, fading table number zero. It's... See, see, this is weird. It says one three one. It shouldn't say one three one. That's why I, that's why I, I don't like. Don't use the hidden colors, man. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I, I just like. I'm, I get the wrong table, man. So how many cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so this is 15 entries. Uh... <laughs> well, if you have three colors to work with, then that's definitely difficult to pull off. Um, I also was considering maybe doing some kind of Mm. Some kind of um... no, no, no. Let's, let's save this. Mm, some kind of um... sorry, I'm just I'm caught in a loop of thinking. Wait a minute, why is it one? I think this is all wrong. I think you broke it. Why is it one? Why is this 12? Yeah, I think we need to rewrite this. Okay, so uh, this green should go from zero to oh, zero, one, two, three, um, to uh, three, to 11. Um, actually, we can look at the fading function of the color number three. That's this one that goes to 13. Really? It goes from three to 13. 
what it goes to there oh it does interesting well i mean sure yeah let's go to 13 and then from 13 to 6 yeah okay and then 7 So this is what I'm thinking. So we're gonna go zero. Okay, so we need to like, <laughs> do like a, so wait, how many numbers do we need? One, uh, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 15 numbers. So how does that work? Okay, yeah. And the final number is always seven. Seems like the final numbers, the final two numbers are always seven. Okay. So we're gonna keep the seven around. Um, and then let's go something like zero, zero, three, 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 13, 13, 13. Maybe put in a, some 13s in here so it doesn't go that quickly all the way to six. Maybe another three in here. Let's, let's see how that works. Mm, yeah, let's remove this. Yeah, that seems good. another zero and one less three and maybe one more three here that seems good now for the next fading thing I want to actually reuse the fading fun uh, table of 12 so I'm just gonna copy over the 12 because that's a very very close color it's just a little bit darker um, then I'm gonna delay the onset of the seven. And it wants to go to 12, to the color number 12. That is already the color. Oh, okay, so it wants to go from, okay, sure, sure. Um, then let's keep around one, one, one. Something like this. Let's try that. Yeah, see, that was a good fading. Hey, Aichi, and hey, hey, Master, oh, Aichi came in later. Uh, you could always use your flames to engulf the whole screen. Switch the background to, oh, yeah, yeah. Man, Mar Marina makes me so many games, I have no, I, I, I just, I, there's uh, whew, there's so many, um, but I saw the one with the islands that had uh, used red outlines. That looked amazing. That that's the one you made, didn't you? Um, smelly fish sticks in here. Nice. Okay, so I think I think this is fine. We have to figure out somehow the orange is, is wrong. The, the, the orange is all wrong. Uh, I don't know why. This is the next step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take the again the color fading function of eight because it's kind of like a similar color. I'm gonna paste it in here, and then we're gonna keep that two for like the first three frames, and I'm gonna jump over to eight for like another three frames. And then it's 14 next. What is 14? 14 is pink, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jump to 14, then to 15. Yeah, maybe one more 15. No, it's good. Yeah, so I wanted to switch to, I wanted to always be a bit darker than the bright. So now the sync, but now this one turns to pink. 
Now this turns to pink. Yeah, okay, good. So it's always a bit darker than the than the normal red color. Maybe a little bit, I don't know. Let's just keep it like this. Um, the green stays. Now comes the orange color. And again, I'm gonna use the other orange color. That's gonna be color number nine. I'm gonna use that fading function and I'm gonna paste it in here. And we're gonna add um, four, 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 nine, 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 10, 10, 10, and then 15, 15, 15, 7, 7. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks perfectly normal. Okay, this is good. The next one is gonna be this, um, the one for six. No, no, the one for five. And again, we're gonna use the six function for this. And we're gonna add five, five, five. And then we're gonna stay, we're gonna stay six for a bit longer. This is very close color to this, to the, the six. That's good. I'm getting some messages. That's good. By the way, I, I said it yesterday. I, I sold the, the fridge. It's uh, oh, it's such a such a big relief. <laughs> Senpai noticed me big time. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, Marina is is is, is killing it. It's crazy. Oh, I need to get a chair. I'm sitting on a, like a normal chair, not, not even like a you know office chair. And it's it's it does wonders to my back, if you know what I'm saying. With wonders, I mean it's horrible. I think this is the color fading dance. Uh, I think we got this. I think we got this. Is there anything else that we? So which one did we get? Did we get. We got the. This is. I think this is this one, right? Yeah. And this is red. This is twelve, right? This is gonna be this. No, this is the dark blue. Blue. Uh, this is the dark green. Is it though? Sinoja, hey! Wait, 11 is. I replaced 11 with a different 11? I replaced it with an alternate color palette 11? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, got, I got a little bit darker green, darker green. That's something we need to need to address. We need to tweak the fading of that. And then I don't have that bright green. Interesting. Yeah, this is this is what. Wait. And then what is this? Oh, that's actually interesting. Okay, okay, never mind. Yeah, we're using a bit of a darker green. Oh, I wonder if we might be one oh, might want to hold on to the darker to the brighter green. I made a fade palette table with eight entries and I thought that was a lot. What are you doing with a huge table? I mean we are going to split it anyway, so it's not it's not um, it's not gonna be crazy. Um, it's, it's kind of nice if the if you're fading if the different colors are out of sync so having like bigger resolution means that the colors are kind of like alternating with you have especially if you have a lot on the screen it's, it's I think it looks a bit more fluent uh, 
Okay, so we need to take care of that. Um, number four is turned into nine. Which one is nine? Oh yeah, that's, so that is gonna be um, dark orange. That's fine, we already dealt with that. Um, that is a super dark green. And this is, I think this is the gray one. Mm -hmm. wow. gray. So we already or had, had, we have everything figured out except the 11, the color number 11. And again, I'm thinking of maybe, maybe I don't need the yellow. Where do we, where can we put uh, another greeny green? Well, on the other hand, I'm not using the bright green. The problem with this bright green from the standard color palette, it's really saturated. Like it's really bright and I was using it in initial designs, but it make everything like incredibly like, like the contrast it created was really like, like hurt your eyes. Um, so maybe we don't need it after all. I don't know which color I would want to replace. It's the thing. I don't even know which color I would replace. Maybe yellow, huh? Do we have designs for yellow? We don't. Well, let's let's fix the green for now. So the green is eleven. I haven't touched the green. Weird. Did I see the difference? Yeah, I definitely see that it is different. The problem is like a lot of a lot of the colors that we have here actually cycle through the yellow. You know what, let's try that. Let's just see how that looks. We could get this green, which I like more than the, that green. Yeah, let's get that. I like that, that lime green a lot more. So let's go just a 10. I'm gonna turn it into 10 plus 128. And if we do that, then we definitely want to turn the, the 11 into 10 at some point. Like this. And if we do that, then we definitely want to turn the 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, the 3 into, into, turn it into 13, the 3. Jumps it straight into 13? Nah. Nah, man, that's that's wrong. Why would you do that? The three, we turn into 11, and then into 10, and then into 13, like this. I, but I see the jump from here to here is bad. So we eliminate the we eliminate the 13 altogether. We just turn it into 10. More 11. Uh, 
Yeah, that looks good. How does the line animate? Yeah, that's good. Now the orange. Uh, I don't like how the orange turns into line immediately. We need to s yeah, see the orange is now... That's color number 9, right? We cannot go to 10 with the orange now, so we need to go to 15, straight to 15. Maybe earlier to 15, yeah. Yeah, that's good. We don't have a good fading uh, sequence for the orange, but that's okay. And then that also means by, by extension that the color number 4 needs to also fade differently. Because we cannot go to 10, so we're gonna stay around at 9 a little bit longer. And then jump to 15. Oh, who are you going to interview, uh, Marina? You setting up some interviews? Okay, I like this, I like this. Just want to make sure that we don't get any accidental lime where it doesn't belong, really. Oh, that looks good. Ah, I want to maybe the dark um, green, I want to maybe, uh, want to make it cycle through the different greens that we have, because that's kind of like really nice that we have so many greens, the greeny green ones. Um, so it goes to three, and then I want to go to 11. And then I want to go to 10, and then to six and seven. Cool. The upper row. This is a really good state for the upper row because you can tell that there's two different green shades and a bright blue and, and, and a reddish tone. And that's where, where the upper row actually goes to. I also was thinking maybe um, this, this gray color, this dark warm gray color, maybe we can cycle it through. through um, so which one is this? This is the, the color number five. Ah! Doom. It's color number five. Let's get some 15s in there, I think, in that fading loop. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that feels right. A lot of the colors go through, um, through, the, through the peach color, and that's good. Ah! Pal SCR equals Sort them by color. I tell you, managing the, those color palettes is is it's it's hard work. Wait. I have everything here. Zero, one, two. Where is the three? Oh, the three stays. Okay, doesn't doesn't change. Interesting. And then, yeah, we, we need that dark green, the greeny green ones. 
You, as we, every, everybody knows, the greeny green ones are the best pizzos. Everybody loves the, uh, the greeny green one. Pizzos. Um, all right, so this one, and we can already calculate this one through one. Um, 12 plus 128. Well, green green pixels, that's true. These are also good. 140. Uh, I'm using the, if you, if you don't know, I've shown previous on the stream, but I'm using the unicorn vomit keyboard. <laughs> and it's a challenge of this because look, there's like, there's some, some of the keys don't really actually have the numbers on them. <laughs> Sometimes I make mistakes. Uh, it's, it's literally the only keyboard I own. Um, because I left my other keyboard in in um, in, uh, in China because it was too big. I just like it was a very simple way to save weight, and it was already kind of old. So I was kind of like, okay, just like instead of like schlepping it all the way to Germany and then cleaning it, I can I thought I can just like you know buy a new one, and then and then it's gonna be fine. And then I can I can you know use that extra extra weight for other things. Oh wait 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 I have to pay attention. Uh, so zero one two. This is gonna be three. Uh, this is four and this is five. So five is six. Okay. Uh, one th three four. Just happy accidents. Well, <laughs> sometimes sometimes accidents are not happy. Let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, I understand the sentiment. Don't get me wrong. I, I definitely agree with that. But some accidents are very sad. I think we need to sometimes acknowledge the pain. One, three, eight. Um. So 138, and then I 11 is going to be this one. 139. 139. That was 11, and then the rest is as, as, as we have 12, 13, 14, 15. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is, and then we're going to go PAL, PAL SCR. Uh, let's see if this looks the way it's supposed to be looking. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Comma one. Yes! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> what, one, three, one is not right? It is right. I never know how to fix that problem. How do you do that? How, how do you define the zero element in the palette? Um, pico 8 um, table with z zero. Yeah, yeah, but there was some kind of a cool inline way of doing this. I saw some cool inline ways of doing this. The 16 one is also the zero. Okay. Does that work? Does that work? <gasps> Smelly fish sticks with a save, with an assist. Beautiful. Love it. Oh. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Then we do the split. Uh, 
Uh, and then we're gonna, do we have a second Pico 8 open? Yeah. I wanna bring in some tools for the split to D function. This is this is such an important function. It should be, honestly, it should be part of the thing, of the, of the API. Maybe we can, if we pressure Zep enough, maybe he will cave in. Not a high priority, so don't be mean. Not yet. <laughs> We need him. We need him to finish the high score stuff. Come on, guys. Okay, so this is good. Now, uh, what I want to do this whole mess, this whole fate table stuff. Yeah, high score stuff. I know, right? Um, this whole fate table is something we need to we need to get into into a mode. Let, let's just like copy this out. No work in Notepad. Wow. La 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 la. Uh, Spenny Fish says um, about the keyboard, I wish my keyboard was cool. Well, that keyboard, it has, it, it looks cool, but the problem is, I think that would be a cool keyboard to take in uh, for a game jam or something, where it's like, hey, check this out, I made a hacker and everything, maybe you could put some LEDs on that. Uh, as a daily driver, it has been a process of, uh, of, of uh, getting used to it. Uh, First of all, a lot of the keys are wrongly labeled. So sometimes I press a bad, bad key and I don't know if this was the correct one. I have a second keyboard on my notebook here. I could use that one. Um, so, you know, if it's very important that I press the right keys, like type in a weird password, then I can use that one. Also, the, the keyboard layout I'm using is not one that I'm familiar with because I'm using the English keyboard. So that's an additional challenge. And also the, the height, heights of the keys are different, <laughs> you see? So touch typing is also kind of difficult. Um, but, you know, we're do, doing things not because they're easy, right? That's the motto of, of the Create community. Not because they're easy, but because they're hard. And yet somehow we call ourselves the the cozy programming community, huh? How, how does that work? <laughs> yeah, the height difference. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, um, Marina makes um, details about. Ho we don't have any details. You can, uh, you can. The only details that we have is this. Uh, help. Oh man, I don't even know. Uh, help. Sub score or something. Hmm. Let me look this up. Um, Pico eight. 0.2.5 It says here uh, The deeds are here um, Doodle mud this is kind of like a thing that um, That um, Zep is using kind of like as a as a test and where is it? Some, somewhere he put 
put it down. There we go. Um, score sub. Help. You type in help score sub. And it tells you kind of like what the function to um, a Pico 8 journalist. <laughs> uh, this tells you the well, as Pico 8 journalists, you might should maybe read the the, the change notes. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the function. You can submit a high score list to a server that, Pico, uh, that Zep will be running and you can load data from that as well. And yeah, it's been a long way coming because Zep has to set up the infrastructure for those servers to be good and also like the uh, back end needs to kind of be like um, secure and everything once you start you know getting into network stuff this stuff gets really complicated and and especially difficult if you want to make it secure and and so forth so you know i i'm not surprised that this takes him such a long time poor guy um, but I, I, I have faith in Zep. He's, he's a guy who, who always comes through in the end. This has been a long way coming. Um, split to... Split to... Comma. Does that, does that, is that enough? I don't have split to the function. This here it is. Maybe I, I split split to the. Split to the but it, it is right here. It is right here! Oh, oh oh okay, got it, got it. Because it has been hasn't been defined at this point. Yeah, I got it. Let's just put it into the into the, into the init. Somehow it's not working as intended. Why sometimes sometimes you work on something and it just fights you at every opportunity? You know what I'm saying? As a fellow user, I always thought that such touch bar is a cool addition. Apparently I was wrong, yeah. People hate that. I don't dabble in API changes most. Um, get my news on it from a little channel called LazyDiffs. Not sure if you're about it. <laughs> so, sounds amazing. Send me the link. Um, no touch bar. Um, suck. No touch bar sucks, Sir Gilbert. I don't like using it and I need both hands, as I said, access to important keys. I think it's designed to be programmable, but I find the API can do that. Paper shorts, it's more like. Um, so, yeah, I heard the touch bar on the on the Max is horrible. I heard that, that that that's something I heard. Now, what is happening here? Why are we struggling? Uh, fate table is nil value. Fate, but it is. Oh, it's, I set it too low. Okay. And then I'm wondering if we actually need this, because maybe we just can use the fade table for this. Uh, let's try to do this. Um, so instead of doing this, we're just going to go pal, fade table. Oh, no, no, we cannot do that. No, we cannot do that. Uh, but we could put we could put it like in 16, right? We could just put it like appended to the end of the fade table. Uh, we just need to get 16 out, right? Well, actually, not 17. Okay, uh, here's what I'm thinking. Hear me out. Hear me out. We're gonna get this out, so we don't need to have an extra definition. Just add more complexity to this already complex thing. Oops. Uh, pipe this. Didn't work. Uh, let's go 17.
There you go, Mr. Streamer. He's a really good guy, DJ. <laughs> Thanks. We'll, we'll subscribe. <laughs> we'll subscribe. Okay. So I think we got this. This is this is what we, we, we arrived at, and, and we're gonna put this into our code. We're gonna put this into our code because we want to make awesome games and make them nice. Yeah, we just need the fade table actually. Nope. Okay, table. And uh, then we're gonna go copy this and I'm gonna put it where the dirty out pal was. Like and subscribe, lol. <laughs> um, right, 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 right. I should get that um, fade function into the tools. Switch back to create mode. We don't need this anymore. Let us look at the to do list. Let's actually get to, to what we wanted to do today. Yeah, I don't like the level screen scrolling thing. Let me figure this out. Because every time I go to the level select screen, it just scrolls for ages. And I know why that is. Um, I just need to, I need to put like a starting value for the scroll. Uh, update level, there we go. There, there we go. There's a destination scroll and an H scroll, this one. Well, uh, yeah, there we go. Do, do we have a starting value somehow for HD scroll? HD scroll. Uh, go to level, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, um, we can go to like one plus his off times 36. Yeah, see, this is better. And then, when does the HD scroll get updated? I guess in the update function. Scrolls less. Okay. Um. Now, 
Okay, next one, line-based wave. So I, do, do we have to know like this wave function? I don't like that. Or I, I, I like the general gist that we have like this, 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 um, this, this wave. I think this is cool. Um, I think it would be nicer if that wave wasn't just single particles. I think those, those, this is not a good thing that particles are for. I think it would be better if this was an actual line. Uh, so I'm going to try that and if, see if we can make the line work. Um, so we're going to leave the particle system as it is. It's okay. Uh, we may, might reuse it for something else, but I want to try um, lines. So here are parts. Let's call this... I don't, I don't like wave, um, so splash. Let's call it splash. Um, so when we draw, and now this is a bit of a problem because we have to do, draw it be, before um, before the girl and behind the girl, but that's something that we're going to t deal with later. Let's just go call draw splash. <clears throat> and we're going to go all the way down. Um, draw splash for S in all splash do no okay we adapt the weight function I think that's okay um, we are not going like as a as a rule of thumb we are not going to be using um, uh, we're not going to be um, moving the splashes around I don't think that makes sense. I forgot how to make things up, up and down with code. Just use sign. Um, well, you can divide sign if it three pixels is too much. Well, I mean, how are you going to make things go up and down if if you have less than three pixels? Like it's just like up and down, like just switching between two pixels. Yeah, sign divide multiply by amount. Yeah. If it's just two pixels, you could also do a, um, a modulo. Right, so I do not want to... I, I will have to use a, an oval for this, oval function. Let me look up the oval function. I have not actually used this a lot, so this is kind of new. Oval. How does that work? X one. Oh no! The oval function uses the same, the same thing as, as the rectangles. Oh, I hate that. I just realized if that's true. And that could be a way of creating um, circles that are not, that are even. Holy crap. Nevertheless, we, I think we're gonna have to do a wrapper for this because I cannot stand the way, the way, uh, the way rectangle works. So we're gonna go oval two, X, Y, width and height. I'm sorry. This is just stupid. Uh, and then we're gonna go oval. Uh, so this is gonna be x minus width divided by two. Technically, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it in a second. And then y minus height divided by two. And then x plus width divided by two. And then y plus uh, height divided by two. And then c. The reason I don't like this um, this way of 
of drawing things is that when you are moving things around, you it affects every like if it just shape stays the same size, but in just moving it around, you uh, you have to change every single entry, every single alg um, argument in the in the function call, and I hate that. It's just, this feels feels bad. Okay, let's let's think this through. If uh, width is let's say width is three. Um, Actually, I, I want to test it. I want to test it. I want to test it in a, a clean environment. Save, reboot. Your, um, yeah, save all over all two. It's like I want to do something and it's like that first you need to create a color palette and then you also need to create this new oval function. Am I right? I'm right, right? Uh, give, give me a two two six oval. Let me know how that looks like. Oh gosh, Let's do a CLS. Come on, what are you doing? Why? Oh oval two. Ah, oh, there we go. That seems like it's three. But I, I, I mean, maybe it's just a rounding error. Okay, so let's do an update. If let's do uh, r equals two, put an r in here, print the r to one one eight, and then if btnp left, then else if btnp right. And R minus equal one and an R plus equal one. Yeah, sign, sign is a bit weird and be great. <laughs> it was quite shocking to move uh, moving to tick, tick 80 and live and having to rewrite all my code around degrees. <laughs> I was doing some math stuff in Dove yesterday. Couldn't wrap my head around the linear algebra, algebra stuff and got my, but it like about half my way. Yeah, see, when you move to take 80 or Love, you just do a wrapper function if you're using your code. You just like, you know, do a sign too, and that's gonna be, that's gonna be, and you use the stat instead of the regular sign. It seems like, oh, I see, that's an even number circle. I don't like that wiggling. That wiggling is, is, is bad. How about the, we're just gonna keep the width like this, you know? It's just gonna be we're not dividing. Screw this. The wiggling is horrible. Yeah, so, so it works more like the regular circle. So wait, why doesn't, doesn't it print that though? Oh, because it's because it could be for the CLS. So it's basically just radius. So now it's radius one. That's radius two, but it kind of looks like, this looks like th radius three. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's do uh, uh, plus one here. So this is, okay, radius one is now this. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And if, like, if I really wanted, I could use comma values, right? If I really wanted to have the wiggly stuff, the wiggly, wiggly ones. Yeah, see, that gives, gives me the wiggly, wiggly circle. All right, let's get this function out. Let's save this. Um, CD sync, CD shapes. Okay, so back to to our splashes. Where were we? All right. Um, so we're gonna call it R X and R Y. And there's gonna be speed associated at speed at which they're growing. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then if there's a friction, we're going to multiply it. That also makes sense. Then we're going to do oval 2. Um, X, P, Y, definitely there's going to be a location for this, and then P, R, X, P, R, R, Y, P, dot, C. Uh, we're going to deal with the fading in a second. Uh, not going to do any animation, that's okay. Uh, we're going to add the H, and then on the max H, we're going to... Delete it. Uh, not from the parts, but from the splash. And also, P is all, always wrong. It always needs to be S. I don't feel like write too, uh, I write too many wrappers. I do have my own like helper functions, and I believe uh, me split is one of them. I guess I have a sprite wrapper that handles all the camera logic and everything, and, and that's awesome. And text handling, which is a lot. Uh, we ran out of music. I, I swear I continue listening. Let me pull up Stardew and chill. I'm, I'm in that mood. Uh, by the way, the music has been, as always, provided by Game Chops. I hope you guys are not sick of it. I, I definitely. It has become the soundtrack of my of my week for sure. Um, but also, I, I like the music. Uh, the month, the soundtrack of the month. us now in the update function where the splash actually happens. There we go. We are gonna comment all of this out. Whoa. Why is the end not correctly indented? There's a lot of code in here. Um, let's let's not start with that, okay? Um, we don't need that that this thing. We just need to have an S. Uh, we're gonna wait. Okay, just just let's just not wait. Let's just like set it to zero. Um, y is okay. 
C is... We're gonna keep it at 11 for now. Um, yeah, that's good. I think it was game shops that did or published oddities of OST. I like some of that, though it's not like my favorite. Oh, I, 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 what is oddity? Do explain. Um, just want to make sure that our so Rx, Rx. Yeah, I guess we need to set a starting value for Rx because we might actually start with a with a non-zero Rx um, and then S. R X S R Y. Um, this one is going to be one, and the Y is going to be zero point five. Let's let's see how that works out. And then H is zero. Maximum H is good. Uh, there's a friction here. Let's set the friction to one for now. And animation is not not interesting. And then we're going to go add splash splash comma. We did not see anything at all. Oh, because we never draw. Oh, we do, we do draw. Oh, maybe we didn't never execute this. No, we do draw splash. Just okay. We never, we never get there. If we add it here, this definitely happens, right? Yeah. Why no boom? That's right. Okay. The splash definitely happens. So this gets definitely added. just never gets executed oh, do we do we do we have this like this is this the, is this being executed sorry yeah okay it's it's there Oh, okay, it exists. It, it, there is a one there. There is a frame in which there are entries inside Splash, but then this code is not ah uh, because.
defeated. Defeated. Oh, <laughs> there's a new problem. Um, Okay, 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 let's remove all the debug stuff. I think we got this. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Yes, this is this is this is the right this is the right feel. Am I right? Am I right? Yes, 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 everybody enjoying this? Yes? Okay, good. Okay, okay. Oh, that's nice. Um, a bit. I think we need to, can go a bit faster on those. More spacing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just like trying to find the right. Um, the right speed for them. I think they were a bit too too fast, uh, too slow. But maybe they, now they're a bit too fast again. Oh, that's so nice. Um, now the maximum age we're gonna uh, reduce. Wow, it feels like the maximum age never never matters oh that's so nice uh let's set the color to maybe 15 so it's not quite as extreme um let's set it to maybe something Let's try with six. Yeah, that might be might be might be better. And then I need to fade it out. But somehow the maximum age is not being like when when does it get removed? Could the color of the outer rings be more faded? So the oak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's we, we, that's why I did the whole, uh, the whole, the whole. Um, that's why I did. Uh, sorry, um, the color fading. Thing at the beginning that's that was that was the build-up towards that <laughs> everything comes together yeah I, can, I kind of like the friction dot fade equals nil then s dot fade equals zero else um, s dot fade plus plus equals one If 
s dot fade e equals 16 then or is greater than 16 then Damn work, it gets in the way of interesting things in life. If only you could make a living from Pico 8 coding. I think that would be horrible. I mean, no, <laughs> actually I kind of do make a little bit of money doing Pico 8 coding through the coffee, through your generous support. There's always this problem like whenever something is something that you have to do, um, it kind of gets less fun as a, as a result. But I do, do enjoy my work here. Maybe that's because it's still, because it's, you know, it's, it's, um, more indie still, it feels more indie, it, feel, it doesn't feel like my livelihood depends on it. Uh, but of course, on the other hand, I'm kind of working towards that, right? It's kind of like, would be great if I could, this could support me. Difficult. I know, creating new things every day is fun. Didn't you see that Andor episode where they're creating new things every day? And then it turns out, <laughs> um, I'm not going to spoil the ending. Uh, I'm a video editor by trade. My hobby is gone forever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, Jelly Wick got it. Hobby, having hobbies stay as hobbies. Yeah, so this is this is something that that's actually something I was. Uh, it's so difficult, right? Because uh, when I was in China and was building, for example, the, um, the Gundams as a hobby, I was like, yeah, this is so cool. And then immediately my mind went, ooh, I could maybe start making YouTube videos about that, you know? Uh, and then I immediately went, nah, I just, they're just, you ha just have to have something in your life that is. You know what? Um, that is, you know, the, the thing that you do just for fun. You know what, I'm, I'm just, I'm not gonna carry this over. Whatever, we're just gonna create. We might have to do a, a function to create a fade equals zero. Um, all right, so let's, let's get to the tool here. Uh, we're gonna go fade s dot fade and then pal again. <clears throat> okay, and then here we are counting up. I'm grateful for having a job which allows me to watch the stream 90% of my work. It seems like a good job. Um, okay. What is this? Nothing happened. Maybe we need to use a color that is that is different. Maybe, maybe the gray is just like not, not really fady. Uh, let's start with color three and see what how, how, how what that gets us. Ah, see, we, now we saw some fading. That looks really nice. Let's do fading a bit slower. But of course, the problem is that because we lack the resolution, the gray won't fade that, that nicely. Oh, that's so nice. Let's make the, the age a bit, a bit, actually, like way smaller. Oh, that looks so nice. Can we just make the age like zero? Let's, what, what happens then? What happens if we fade immediately? See? 
It's a way not to have solid drinks even more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's something also oh, trying to get into right now. Thinking of this, how to best pull it off. Again, um, there was, I saw a function that was really cool about dotted lines. Um, ah, but it only works for lines. It doesn't work for... Um, if fade is greater than eight, then um, fill. Where is the one that I'm looking for? And this is a good one. Where is the one? There, this, there is the one. I'm looking for. These two. Um, Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't hate it. It's okay. Um... Twelve. Else if s dot fade is greater than 8 Hell yeah, yeah. You can you can say that at any point. That's a, that's the secret. There is no point. You can say that at any time. Ooh, yeah. I like I like when the long fade out. Friends, what's good? <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the really big circles are look nice. Um, okay, so let's see if we can repeat this process with like front and back, huh? How about that? The problem is we have drawing and we are animating and drawing the splashes separately. So let's animate and draw them together. Uh, let's, let's, let's animate them and then draw them. Uh, do splash. I, I will address it in a second. Uh, I, right now, I'm not really that happy that um, that the splash. I, I like how the splash fades out. Like this is a really nice long out fading out animation. This is cool. But I, I might want to use the splash somewhere else where I have little splashies. And uh, for that, I the fade has to go quicker. So I'm thinking of maybe um, somehow allowing me to. Uh, uh, allowing me to change the speed at which it's fading. But instead of maybe adding another variable, like a fade speed variable, I think it might be more useful to tie the fading to the maximum age. So maybe we're gonna have something like, it starts fading right away at the beginning, or maybe it starts fading at 
No, no, at the beginning maybe, and then it goes uh, and, and makes sure that by the time it reaches max age, it's faded out. Kind of like we use the max age to do the fading. Um, maybe that, that might, be, might be more useful. That's something I'm currently thinking. Um, all right, so we do the weight here, that's okay. Um, this is also very correct. We, the fading we is not something that we need right here. This is the, the update function, right? We do the aging, and this is maybe where the fading will change. Um, and then when we're drawing, we only do this if weight is smaller or equals zero, in which case we fade. Uh, what? Uh, we fade, do the, the stuff, fill P, and then we don't do the aging. Okay, and now in the update function, we're gonna do the splash. Um, long update function. That just looks really nice, man. I just want to see it again and again. Shivers. <laughs> Um, let's see if we can, so now that we have this going on, let us see if we can draw the splash before and after. Although I don't know if I actually want to do that this way. I just want to see what it looks like. And then if that looks like nothing, then we can just remove it. Um, draw. So this is before the girl. And we're gonna do a clip. And the clipping rectangle works differently, right? Oh. Yeah, it's width and height. Height. That's so so weird. Um halo Y. No. 128. Draw back. Splash. Actually, we don't need the we don't need the clipping here. We need it later. Um, but let me first draw the clipping here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Draw splash. There we go. So this one is going to be Halo Y and whatever. It's just um, okay, and we can move this clip. Uh, this didn't work as intended. Oh, because I want the lower part to be obscured, right? Okay, yeah, 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 okay, good. Um, so I want zero to Halo Y. Did I like that? I, didn't, I don't necessarily like this more than the, that one that we had before. Now it looks kind of like cut off weirdly. 
Yeah, let's keep the previous one around. I don't. This is this is previous one looked nicer anyway. So nice, that's so nice. Oh, loving it. Yeah, clipping Rubik's word. It's it's so fast. Uh, people won't be thinking about you know. Oh, is it is it physically correct? Or, it's like the perspectively correct. I mean, it's it's fine. Um, I want to tweak some things, as always. Um, This animation is happening, and we do the splashies here. Um, let me tweak this a little bit. Is it One point seven five. I, I, I want this reduced somehow. One point seven five. Oh yeah, let's let's just multiply with 0 0.75 just a good the lazy way just finding it like maybe a, a nice a bit slower speed at which this is going yeah see that was I think I felt that was a bit more gentle maybe a bit bigger spacing Even bigger spacing. Yeah. What? Give me, give me too big spacing. I want to see a spacing that's too extreme. Oh, that's actually nice. Really big spacing. Come on, give me really big spacing. Too much. Way too much. Okay. See, that was too much. Ten was, was fine. Um, yeah, and I, I want to try to do this fading that is based on the max age. Um, so let's set the max age to 20. And let's try to do this fading that's based on the max age. So basically, we're just going to assume that fading. Okay, let's let's keep this the old way around so we can quickly reset. <clears throat> S dot fade equals um, S dot H. Um, divided by s dot max age. So it will start at the like zero divided by a number that is zero. And then it's going to be a small number but divided by a big number that is going to be a very small number. And it will grow all the way up to be in turn it turns one. So we need to multiply it by 16. And then if h is max h, then, well, wait, let's, let's copy this. So maybe we actually don't need the fade anymore if, 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 we, if we, you know. Um, and then just going to delete it. You know? Okay, so now we have like a really sm small splash. Ah, this actually show, show, shows us what a small splash looks like. I, I, don't, I don't mind a small splash. That's a good, that's a good, that's okay splash. Um, maybe, maybe let's, let's start, let's let the fading out start a bit later. So we're gonna go fade equals um, SH. Multiplied 
multiplied by 8. Um, let's let's get multiplication out of the way. I just want to. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so this will start at. Um, fate equals fate. Min uh, minus equal zero point five. That's that. Fate, oh, fate equals min uh, max zero s dot fate minus zero point five. Fate equals uh, time. Oh yeah, yeah, let's just multiply by two. So it starts longer for zero, and then it goes uh, to one. That's what I'm hoping. I want, like, if I do a small splash, I want to see something still. I see that was bad, I think, but I'm not sure if we reached. If it's max age, then fate is going to be one, and then we're going to. It's going to be 0 0.5, but we're going to multiply by two. Yeah, so it's going to be one. Yeah, it's just like I guess it's very, very sudden. So let us um, increase the maximum age to like a very long number now. see how it looks when you scale it all the way up. Also... Oh wow, okay, it just doesn't fade now anymore. Oh, because I didn't multiply it with 16. Ah, oh, stupid. So, I guess it's 32. Yeah, okay, so the, 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 this looks good. Now let's bring it back to a small number, 20. Uh, do not love it. How about we do something like fade start? And we're gonna set it to zero. And then we this allows us to control when the fading starts so we can have something without fading and we, uh, we can something have something with very sudden fading or with also kind of like very mellow fading so so we're gonna go h um fade equal, equals uh, sh minus s fade start And divided by um, max h minus fade start. And then this is going to be max comma zero. And then we'll multiply it by 16. That's kind of like one hell of a statement there. Ooh, there's a problem here. There. So let's just give it a let's give it a big fade out, like a slow fade out now. Okay, this looks good. And now we're gonna do the same thing, but now with a uh, we're gonna keep this around, but the fade start is gonna be happening very very late in the animation. Voila, and then let's do a short bloop with a fade out that is pretty late. So we see a lot more, a lot darker circles. Yeah, we can even make it all the way to like 18. So we almost see no dithering at all. Yeah. 
That's what uh, that was what, what was needed. Okay, so now we go all the way up to I don't know 80, and the fade start is going to be at zero, so we have like the same effect that we had previously. Yes. Let me see if if we are not overtaxing the CPU, just in case. Nice! <sighs> okay, a line-based wave, we did it. Fade out better, we did that as well. Now that, that is something I'm relieved about. Okay, so next step is I want to have two or three balls um, flying around the, the head of the girl to see, to kind of like, if we complete a bigger level to kind of like see how the multiple balls are stacking up. And I, in the same vein, I also want to be changing the colors of the balls. So the balls have different colors. Um, and then finally, at the end, there's like an ending chime. Like, bing, 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 bing. Let's, let's just like do uh, sound. I want to have sound, better sound when you complete, because right now, the, I think there's a sound, but we need to tweak it so it fits the animation. And also at the end, there is when you finish level, there's like a three, three melody sound, and I want, and when the melodies come in, I, in that moment, I want the balls to do like a blink, and um, and then we can move over to the level ending card. <laughs> the sound that you I, <laughs> I finish the streams with, I. <laughs> I, I might do that as a gag one one day, but I think I think today is not that day because that that's technically a sound from from video game. I took it from. A... Um, yeah, that's a sound from a video game from Final Fantasy Adventure. So I would be stealing music, but I, actually I wouldn't mind. Maybe we're gonna do it at some point. Um, let me get something to drink, and I'll be right back. I have returned. I got some coffee. Well, I was, oh, Synergia. I, well, I was watching the YouTube channel and I think I'm going to start making this one. It's crazy because I don't know English or programming, but Christian's way of explaining is very clear. Didactic and funny a lot. <laughs> that's very nice of you to say. Yeah, um, I mean, that's how I learned programming as well. Like I. I didn't know English when I was a kid, right? I didn't know English, but I had like a book and they had like some samples and I just like typed them into my computer and I just saw what was happening and I learned kind of like that way. I learned a lot of weird English vocabulary from programming, <laughs> like ready and print. Um, it's many fish text. Christian knows how to make programming fun and I'm glad he doesn't draw the rest of the hour. <laughs> like, like I have before in the past with some tutorials I tried. Oh, that's very nice to see. Uh, that's very nice for you to see. Um, how good, but yeah, I watched a pork like series and it was just a genuine experience. His way of explaining stuff. Oh wow, these people are so nice to me. Wow, you guys are way too nice to me. Well, I'm glad. You're getting any use from those tutorials. I'm, I'm really glad. That's that's really the best I can hope for. And everything else is just coincidental. Um, we are now in the process of yeah. I want to see three balls. <laughs> Twitch ate my dot. It's Monday, Christian, some kind of positive energy for the week. Yeah, definitely need that for that week. Oh, the cat and bird? Where is the cat and bird? There's a comment about the cat and bird. What cat, cat and bird? Uh, scrolling up. Can we... Oh, <laughs> I want to search. Uh, what cat, cat and bird?
Oh, the, I'm not so sure. Oh, yeah. I'm not so sure where the footage of the crow and cat came from, but it's super adorable. Yeah. I have made this video a long time ago. Like, like when I, um, yeah, actually when I did my channel Sweet Buns. Uh, it's some stock footage of just like a cat. And I thought that was uh, a cat is, is a good mascot for the lazy dev, right? Because cats are kind of like just sleeping all day, so. And then, and then stock footage library also had like a crow playing with a, with a cat. And I thought it was like cute. Um, right, so I want to see uh, the bars. So this is where we create, this is the splash. Um, but this is not, this is the, the failure ball. And maybe we're just gonna do like this at the beginning. Halo Y, yeah, it's like 80. So let's just go 80. Oh, there's actually we don't no, we do have the trails. Oh we did haven't set a color for the hate for the balls. And yeah, there's obviously no offset. We can set the yeah, so let's let's set this balo to this. This balo is gonna be to 0 0.3. Let's see how that works. Right, 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 right. So I don't like how they are orbiting um, around the same thing. So we can maybe do like a Y offset is 0 0.5. Let's try that. Um, we're gonna go to the Balo. Pro Balos. B offset, a Y offset. What? A third bailo and that is gonna be Y offset is gonna be uh, let's 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 not call it Y offset let's call it Y scale and this is gonna be zero and this is gonna be Y scale zero point uh, this is gonna be minus one So it's gonna be zero here, minus one here. Oh, wait, wait, no, actually this is gonna be one, and this is gonna be zero. And this is gonna be 0 
The orbiting balls look good with the halo. Is there one per finished ring? Yeah, that was the idea. That if you finish a ring, it will turn into a ball and then starts orbiting the head. And then um, technically a third ring that you will create will create a third ball, but it's only be visible only very, very briefly. And, and I'm trying to make that, um, that work now. Uh, also, I'm trying to figure out the right colors for the for the balls. That's also something I'm working on. Are the ball colors based on the level or something? Yeah, that's something I'm gonna figure out the, the colors. Yeah, not quite sure. Not quite sure. So the, that's the third, the horizontal ball here, that's the third one. And that, whoa, I didn't want to do that. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Oh, I did create a Balo that didn't have a Y scale. Um, if you have a third Halo, then that, that horizontally rotating one actually isn't so visible anymore, but that's not too bad. Maybe the this scale should be like tiny, something like 0.1. So we see a little bit of a of a curvature. So first I want to have some solid colors, like some predefined colors. And then we're gonna figure out how the colors are maybe something that are generated <coughs> somehow. Um, I think these were the colors that I was working with. Um, I defined them here at the beginning of the game. This, this, see nine, 12, and three, maybe we should, no, four, one, 11, let's, let's try this. Four, one, eleven. Let's try that. Well, okay, we're not doing with the colors anything. <laughs> Draw. Cool that side. B dot C. Ooh, that's not the colors I was... Well, technically they are the colors that we're using, right? That's the colors. That's them colors. Oh, interesting. There is a white color. That's not what I wanted. Oh, see, that looks way better now. Um, I think I, I want brighter colors for the balls, so... <clears throat> um, so let's try... This is a bit of a problem because if you see... Um, so... With the orange card, <clears throat> the symbol is darker. With the blue card, the symbol is darker, but with the green card, the symbol is um, brighter. So we kind of have to... F yeah, we, there's just gonna have to be a little bit of logic here. 9, 12, let's try 9 and 12. See, I think they look a lot nicer now. That seems to be more like the colors that we are, we are collecting. Okay, so how about we just say something like color 3 and it's going to be 9, 12 and mm, 
<laughs> yeah, nice colors. I've been working on the same problem the whole time I've been watching. And the same color, uh, uh, the same problem with the colors. Um, okay, so I think we figured out the Bados. Um, let's get them out here. And let's make it so that they actually spawn when we... When, uh, when it's time. This is, this is where, the, where, the, where, the, where we are creating them. Uh, let me paste them in here real quick. Okay, so I need to create C somehow. That's something that we need to, like, okay, nine, but we need to do, like, okay, how is this happening? Um, this offset is also something that needs to change. And this Y scale, which we haven't even added, but we need, absolutely need to add. This also needs to change. And all the other stuff is actually not that important. Huh, interesting, the T is something I'm worried about. Where do we need the T? We're never using the B dot T, right? Oh, I think we might be using it. No, we never use this. Follow, follow ball dot t. Do we ever use this? What happens if we remove it? I think we can remove the t. I, th I don't think we need the t. Oh wait. Oh whatever. I think we might not need it. Um. Right, so these three, we need to kind of like grab from like a like an array, I guess, right? F ball. Okay, we kind of want to. Okay, um, we have want to, want to count how many balls we have. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, it's a family friendly show. It's nothing, not the, the way you think. It's it's it's, ba it's not balls. It's balos. How many balos we have? Yes, it's good. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> um, uh, so ha hashtag balo multiplied by zero point three three something like this. So this is going to be the offset because offset is zero zero point three zero point six. So this this solves that problem. Um, the y scale is is. Tricky is, it's, yeah, yeah. That, that's something that we're gonna have to pull from from a um, array. Okay, let's just put an array here. Um, B Y scales equals. <clears throat> so it's gonna be one minus one and zero point one. And then we can go y scale equals by scales square bracket hashtag be, ba, balo plus one. Mm. Just have to write down something very important. Uh, we want the undo. I heard the sound, but I think that can't be it. My my wife is, I think, still. I think she's still on her way. I, I think she just picked my 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 daughter up, and they wanted to also go shopping. So I think we still have, should have like half an hour. Let me check real quick. Oh man, that final is nine. I'm just getting so much 
Ooh, no, they, they are already way ahead of the curve, wow. Okay, so we might have to stop soon. Um, but I want to, especially once, well, I'm still in this awkward situation here, I want to finish this up as soon as I can, uh, as quickly as I can. Um, okay, so buy scales, Baylo. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do an up um, to-do list thing. That's something I wanted. The undo should also do the Baylos. Undo undoes Baylos. Very important. And then we might actually take this whole thing out into its own function. That's, that's something we're gonna deal with in a second. Um, okay, so this is this is taken care of, and then now we kind of have to get the colors. Um, I do have the colors here. I wonder if it makes sense to randomize those. It would be fun maybe to randomize those. Oh, I have the colors, wait. Uh, did I create a color three? Yeah, I did. I, I, there was colors too. Okay, maybe there was different colors too. Yeah, see, they're, they're in it. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna grab those from colors and they're gonna be fixed for now, and then maybe uh, sometime in the future we're gonna find out a way to randomize them. We can just shuffle the colors, and also maybe the colors will change anyway. Just, um, just, uh, uh, just, just making it work somehow first, and then we can make it always work. It make it work better later. Okay, so this is good. Now let's delete those guys. They have served their duty. They are called of duty. <clears throat> oh, um... Okay, so we need colors. We need to define colors at the, at the beginning after all. Um, oh, what about colors too? That's been... Uh, Colors is enough. Okay, there is some tea happening. But do we ever use it for anything? No, we never use it for anything. So we can just like, what if we quote this out? Does anything change? Um, let me add Where's the level generation? We generate cards Okay Oh, you haven't seen the, squid, uh, the ripples? Yeah, yeah they, we've been working on this the whole morning. They are, they are, they have been fun. Um, copy, car, copy, card. Sorry. Is it copy card or what? 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 How did we? How did we call that? Uh, um. Tool oval copy card, yeah, that's good. So we have two, we can create two balls. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh. I'm supposed to be working, just popped in a lunch break and you get back to, uh, back to work, you're doing great. Thank you so much, Squid Legs, very nice of you. Uh, hope you have a nice lunch. The colors are not quite right, but we're gonna fix them soon. Look at this. 
just keeping track that we are not yeah this is this is see this is this is getting this is getting somewhere now <laughs> That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for, baby. Okay, we need to get that splash. That has to have the color from the Belo. Um And then failable equals nil. Um, failable dot C. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah, when things work out, isn't it just the best? <sighs> I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy that this is, this is going so swell. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Show. I, I'm. I would love to have hear your um, your mom's opinions, many fish sticks. I think. I think I would love to hear. I would would love to actually have somebody play it who who enjoys solitaire. Mm, I also I just realized something. I maybe when I drawing. I'm drawing the splash. Um, I wanted to maybe go pal T seven true and then pal T at the end. So if if we're drawing seven seven false. Um, so we're drawing white, then we're not drawing white on top of everything else, you know. Yeah. Still looks a bit weird because you can see that when it fades out into white color you can see some white sp sparkles um, on top of the, of the on top of the cards but maybe you can draw the cards on top like um, after we draw the girl maybe that might be a um, good solution but also we want the halo on top of the card so maybe yeah we have to figure out the right the proper order And yeah, this looks busy now, but you have to also keep in mind that um, it would be just two balls. You would never, you would never actually start creating a halo when there's three balls uh, buzzing around. Jellywick, I love solitaire. Uh, it was my last ADHD focus, hyper focus. This is accurate because my face looks like that when I play solitaire. I know, right? <laughs> solitaire is such a good meditation kind of game. I feel like it means more spacing between the girl and the rest. And also this shouldn't be, should be happening. When you pick something up, well, maybe it should. Yeah, I feel like there she should go a little bit further down. Even if that means more scrolling in general. Okay, let's see where the, the girls are at. They are still, they're still shopping. That's good. And then I put some as a future problem, uh, randomized colors. Question mark. 
Um, okay, we have two and three balls. We have uh, ball colors are changing. Um, now comes the sound, actually. Let me let me do the undo thing because that's actually something that really bothers me. I'm not sure how to do that because we have to kind of save the state of, of the bailo somehow, right? So let me see. So if I do this, oh, if I do this, now something is happening. And if I do undo, we've undone the board state. But this thing is still happening. So that's how we can create. Also, I just I just dragged something in there while the animation was running. We have to also find yeah. That, so see, this, this, there's some some technical stuff that we have to figure out. Also, um, cancel animation. Or fast forward. Fast for forward animation. F for our <laughs> for word animation. So deadline is on Thursday. Thursday noon my time. Uh, hmm, the ball likes the like the ball likes need to be in the board state. For my synth, I just stored the whole file, exported as each undo redo state, and it seemed bad for memory use, but it saved me a lot of headache. The whole file? You mean the whole PQ8 file? What? No, my th my thing stored all the tracker info as file per state. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. But this is this is I don't have any f any things I can store into a file. No, it's saved um, in, in memory. It's just like I'm saving just the board state and not the completed like the the number of balls. So if we undo something, we want to maybe delete the balls. That's all we need to do, and then. Uh, we also need to make sure that we cannot maybe complete a loop while the animation is running. You just have to wait until the animation. Like if you just want to be really fast, then well, tough luck, buddy. Um, so let's go. So UI girl stuff tool gameplay update tool. No, it's it's not tool, right? Girl stuff UI. <laughs> IO, there we go. UI IO. <laughs> um, Uh, okay, so we will have to save it in history. Uh, let me think about this. Oh no, that's not the history. That's not what we want. Uh, where do we do the undo? Think. 
Are we getting a dollar? In Halo it gets this and it's... Okay, good. So I'm thinking... If Balo... If... Hashtag... This is bo Bolo, Balo. Balo. If hashtag Balo is smaller than... undo one ball but we, currently we have no way of creating multiple balls in one go so if we're not gonna add you know the loop there to undo multiple balls it's fine and there's no way of destroying balls so we can never create a ball during an undo move so that's good And then just the only thing that we have to do is add you uh, hashtag ballo. So we're just saving a single number in there. Okay, so now let's see. Okay, um, this seems to be a table. Um, how about we? Uh, but I don't like that. Uh, that doesn't feel right. Oh wait, wait, wait. Right. Okay, we've undone it, but it. Oh, wait, if it's if the number is greater. Okay, we undid it and undid it successfully. Now, if I do something else and undo it, that, nothing happens. If we put it in there and then move something around. And then undo, nothing happens. Undo one more time, ball disappears. That's what we wanted. Right, so this is um, this is checked off.
Okay. And then I said fast forward animation, but I think that's something I'm gonna do here is just like a very simple check for when the animation is running. So if the failure ball is happening, then we're not gonna do, we cannot drop anything into Yeah, here. If failure ball is not equal to snail, then return. Well, let's do it like this. So we're gonna get some feedback as well. Then. Animation running. Easy. So if you're being like Mr. F Mr. Fast Boy and you go like this, uh oh, no, cannot do this, still running. Um, maybe actually we can we can be a bit faster about this. We can be a bit more responsive. <laughs> wow, what a difference a few days makes! It looks really good. Thank you so much, Bretsky. Hi, how are you doing? Um, yeah, yeah, we did we did some some work on on the on the uh, Halo animation. That makes a huge difference. Um, so I'm thinking. Let me see, where's the... This whole sequence of animating the phalo is, is kind of crazy. Um, happens when failure is being animated, right? Oh, I think I think they're coming. No. How does the thing, the whole thing end? Oh, by the way, we don't need that anymore. These were the old particles. Oh, here, here it is. So you would just need to set the failure to nothing, right? I feel like we can do this in maybe like a, whoa, what was that? Uh, let me let me get the Zelda again. So I feel like uh, when we spawn the ball, that ball does its own thing, right? <clears throat> and I feel at that that point we can go back to. Um, so do, let's maybe do like a two-stage process. So this is animate Halo, right? And so let's make it so. If we spawn the ball, we also do all of the Phalo stuff, you know, just just quit it. So we're gonna go Phalo Halo, all of this stuff. This is something that, yeah, this is the ball, that's okay. How does the ball move, by the way? I don't know, quite understand. I 
is it something that I <laughs> this is getting a bit draw Balos, there we go, phonic. animation or yeah uh fatal ball animation That's just like an animate splashes. Uh, here we want the Y to be available Y. Okay. Okay, so this is the Halo animation. Now this thing, uh, the veil animation, uh, the Halo ball animation, <clears throat> and this is the this all this stuff we can actually start doing earlier. Oops, Jesus Christ, that's a splash. Halo ball that why? That why? And this we can do a lot earlier. This is something we can do already here when we actually create the Phalo ball. Then we can actually already start interacting with the with the halo, right? Failable, then do, but when, when is the failable happening? Let's just see if this works. I probably there was gonna be some horrible mistake. Okay, the ball is not moving anymore. Okay. So let me, see, let me just look fail ball. Where, where are we doing something with a fail ball? something that we're gonna address in a second. Um, ah! Where are we? Animate Halo. Let's get this out. Do, 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 
And so, yeah. Yeah. So, we, if this exists, then we animate it. And then we're gonna go, if it, it, the Y position reaches a certain position, then that's where we do the splash. Uh, da, 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 da. Bing. Um, that's good. Now there's stuff happening that that there's like a speed happening here and so forth, and we don't actually need that because we kind of have this already in the. F We have, um, we can save it in, inside the actual ball. So let me see, draw Bados, yeah, here. We have the SX, right? So how about we just... I don't know why, why, oh, I, I guess we just... Okay, whatever. So let's just save. Yeah, so let's go like this. And then... It doesn't really matter. We can just, when we spawn it, we can set it to a certain value as x equals zero, and then we never touch it again. Simplify this a little bit here. Um, okay, let's see how that works. Okay, there is no SY. Just call it a fail of speed, right? Or was it? This looks totally not funny. I I don't know. I'm having fun. I would say. Oops. Let's find out what Phalo TY is. Phalo TY. Phalo TY speed. Okay, that's something that we want to actually dump in here. Yes. There's just like one problem. There's the, this Y. What, what, okay, when we spawn the splashes, we are, we, somehow it doesn't know where to spawn them. So let's find out what the problem is. Uh, we... Let's 
they are still shopping. Okay. Um, But we have to, oh, it's comma y, see, it's just sort of be delta y. See, simple problem. Yes. Perfect. And so now that this is happening, um, we can be like, we can actually start interacting with the halo earlier. So we can go um, gameplay if hashtag hashtag halo equals equals zero. Is greater than zero. If it's greater than zero, then animation is running. Otherwise, you're good. Yeah, see. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Perfect, perfect. Um, then also when we draw, when we prep the halo, um, oh yeah, yeah, so we're drawing this halo. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. We can simplify this now. I want to make sure. See, I was a bit too fast, but now it worked. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's try it really quick. See, now it didn't work. I was a bit too quick, but now it, it works. Celebrating a little bit. It's good to celebrate every now and then, right? Good. They're, they're always going to a supermarket that I, I've, I've never been to. Good. Um, so, I guess this is not really fast forward animation. Oh yeah, also, we have to also keep in mind what happens when this is happening while the undo is happening. So, if somebody... <laughs> Because I could, you know, do something like this, like move something, and then oop, and then undo. And now I've created things. Victor, vector, dance, vector, dance. <laughs> uh, so I want to make sure that the undo is only happening. Um, if undo loop equals zero, then return, or hashtag fail is greater than zero. Or, um, Um, do I care about undoing while this thing is happening? I don't think so. Yeah, I think I think just fatal is a problem, right? Because then that will spawn a ball. 
and then we can get an extra ball. But if the ball is flying, that's okay. You just might remove it. Just in case we are going to um, fail a ball, right? I'm going to take the fail a ball. Uh, but I don't like how it might not reset. Yeah, okay, now it will reset. It's, it's just the fail a ball. Uh, I'm going to set the fail a ball to nil when we are undoing. Vector, vector, dance, vector, dance. Um, so I'm going to do it like this and then undo. But nothing will happen. Then we undoing and now it works. Okay, so let's let's try undoing with a slightly different timing. So we remove something. Um, now we undo. Perfect. Perfect. So the undo doesn't work while we're here. It undoes here. Okay, now it's undoes the the. Ripples were still there, but you know, they, they go away eventually. Good. So we solved all the problems that might result from too much. <laughs> that just looks so nice. Wait, if I'm doing all this stuff, do you still see the ripples? Oh no, the ripples don't happen anymore if I'm being very fast. Oh yeah, interesting. The I wonder why. I wonder why the ripples are not happening. It should be happening. It seems like the first time I'm Halo equals halo. Halo equals halo. Halo equals zero. Okay, whatever. And then um, an update function, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. If halo is greater than zero, then. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then it will reset everything, right? Then. Ah, then it says the fader ball to nil. Um, we don't need that technically. We can keep the fader ball around. So nice. So good. See, that's that's the joy of game development. Okay, so let us. Uh, we for that we need to. I think. Uh, let me see again. I'm, I'm I'm keeping track of of this, of the progress of my my family. I would love to have like a warning where it's like, okay, if they're getting close, then. <clears throat> Right, I want to get the sounds right. Uh, see, the, these, these dings. It would be really nice if when it's finished, it's, they will, you know. Yeah, I don't know how. Yeah, that's that's Gruber music magic. Don't ask me how that was done. 
20, 20 oh, so it's like the, all the 20 year sound effects. Let me see. Okay, maybe that's not. Yeah, we could use these as sound effects. Yeah, so we could... Yeah, we could... If we layer those sound effects on top of each other, then we could... We could recreate that sound. Um, let me uh, allow it to quickly fish, finish a level um, because I want to see what this looks like. Uh, I want to. I want to listen to all of the sound effects. Uh, where, where do we generate the, the game start game here? Uh, because right now I have the. Where do we generate? No, what? what? There, no. Here is we could generate the deck. There we here we're copying the cards, and here we generate the deck. So we can, yeah, this is the extra card that uh, makes it so that we don't immediately end the level. So we're gonna comment this out so we can see what the game ending looks like actually. Yeah, see, so now it would be nice to be to have like the. And now it would be nice if this splash was happening when that final thing touches the, the surface. So let me let me check this real quick. Um, let's go gameplay. this and we're gonna check for the game being finished when the ball lands in the water so Oh, that's gameplay. We need to go update, update game. Okay, so this is Halo. This is this is normal Halo, and this is failure ball animation. Right, when the failure ball reaches that point where <coughs> it's supposed to splash, then we do all these things. We add the splash. We set the failable to nil, and we're gonna go if is finished, then we're gonna end the game. This is kind of a bit awkward because we kind of. What's with the. What happened here? There should be another end, right? this okay let's try that you know what I'm saying
Okay, so let's get those sound effects out and create new ones. What? No. So this would be a one sound effect. Let's copy this out. Um, let's paste it in here. Um, oh man, just jumping back and forth is, is going to be a bit painful, but what would, so, okay. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a, oh yes. So we have buzz on and speed is 76. Okay, and then let's get the other sound effect out. Let's get these out. This is 76 and no buzz. Okay. Okay, so now it's going to be sound effect SFX um, 57 and sound effect 58 at the same time. Let's try that. Let's see how that works. <laughs> and we can even do a little bit nicer thing where it's like the second sound effect will be will be pitched up. Let's do that. It's it's, it's worth it, right? We have the space for it. It's just the same but D, right? C to D. I could do it with code. Oh, the, this one doesn't actually change. Interesting. It's just the same. Oh, that makes it even easier then. So... What is the one that slide? So oh, so it just slides into a softer version. How about we? Yeah, that's, just let it fade out a little bit. That's nice. So let's copy this. Um, Copy this and then paste it in here. And then this is going to be D. Ugh. Oops. Man, where's D? Oh, there's D. 
It doesn't seem right. Maybe it was higher? Oh, of course, 76 as well. Oh, bus, that's right. Uh, let me make sure that this is correct. Third octave. Both are third. Is that octave? Yeah, and there's just three. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That's good. Good. So we want 56 when it's when it's the second. If um, hashtag Baylo, this is greater than greater than one, then else. Uh, actually, we can do it with a ternary here. As a fix, um, oh man, I need to finish this. Um, so 56 and 58, okay. So this actually 57 stays, and then if hashtag Baylor. Yeah, Baylo. Um, if hashtag Baylo is greater than 1 and 56 or 58. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. That blue is not good. That's something that we have to fix. It's a nice, like, whoosh sound would be good. Maybe we can use all of the sound effects based kind of like, but maybe we can make all of the sound effects based on that. That would be kind of nice. I wonder if you could pitch it down to like a two B two or something. So it grows up to the final C three. Um, Oh man, I'm not a musician, uh, but I will contact um, I will contact um, definitely talk with with uh, Gruber music if he has maybe some ideas. Yeah, see this this is now this sounds like like garbage now. Let's let's remove it. Let's let's put something. Let's just copy this out one out. And start experimenting with this. Maybe we can just change the sound a little bit. What if we do a vibrato? That's really cool, but not what I'm looking for. That's cool, arpeggio. Oh, 
what if we this is the different sound effects right so what if we make it this uh, uh, oh yeah bus no Let's try that. I just want to see. That was nice. These sound effects are a bit, a bit pedestrian. I think we need to. I need to experiment with them a little bit. Like this sounds a little bit too much like a Super Mario hits a shell sound. I like the physicality of it, but maybe we could make it a little bit less cartoony. Bretsky TC is not a musician or artist, probably a bad combo for the game dev, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I'm not a musician either, but I'm still like tankering here, right? Yeah, I will definitely contact uh, Gruber Music if maybe he has some ideas of how we can uh, boost up some of those sound effects, but yeah, I probably will do a revamp on all the sound effects, but maybe not like left right here on stream, huh? Let me see. Oh, oh they're on their way. I think they will be right there. Okay, so let us uh, end this stream now. Uh, maybe I will have some time to tinker with the sound effects and I will, uh, because this is just like, you know, just messing around. Um, I will be back this evening, definitely, um, because we want to get to the, um, level finished screen. That's that's something that, that we have to do next. All right. Oh yeah, by the way, I before we go there, I wanted to... Sound. Okay, the sound is kind of... Okay. Ending start sound. That's something we want to do. Um, Sound chain uh, revamp uh, overhaul. Um, balls respond to the ending chime. That's something we want to do. And then we're going to get on finish halo. And also, something I want to do is um, finish halo, leveling any, any card, leveling juice. I'm not sure what that is, but okay. Mm -hmm. That's something that we need to do, but we but when we go to the level ending, so let's let's go. Uh, that's gonna be the next Halo step, but mm, uh, for now we are in the level ending thing. Um, so uh, ending start sound. Uh, I, I wrote star start sound. Sound overhaul a little bit. Balls. Responding to the end chime, that's good. Level ending card, level ending juice. I don't know what that is. I guess we kind of like already did this a little bit. And then no undo when ending. Very important. <clears throat> okay, again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was a pleasure and uh, hope to see you this evening where we can maybe wrap this up. I, th this would be a huge big deal if we can if the whole ending sequence was wrapped up today, that would be great because then tomorrow we can then concentrate on other things. Okay, good. See you this evening. Bye bye. And we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the evening stream of day number 16. Everybody can hear me? Yeah, 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 good. Things are going, things are going. It's always a bit stressful. There's just so much things, but I'm getting the hang of it. Where's my tea? Good. Exhibit. Ah! Oh. Typing somewhere. All right. Um, if you're wondering what sync is, I've created like a huge folder where I have like a huge repository of with all of my projects in one big repository. 
because I can't bother to create a new repository for every single Pico 8 project I'm going. So just look, one big repository, kind of made <laughs> using GitHub as a Dropbox, basically. Uh, it's nice. Um, because also um, GitHub, or, or Git, not GitHub, but Git, uh, runs on um, runs on mobile devices that have Linux, so you can port it to every console or every every platform. So make sure that the volume levels are okay. Yeah, just bring it up a little bit. Okay, so, well, actually maybe I, I might want to uh, So nice. Okay, I noticed a couple of things. The hey, Ned Maximus, the um, balls are not rotating when um, when uh, when we are in the song mode, so to speak. So we want to maybe bring this back. Um, yeah, ending starts on. So yeah, let, let me. <laughs> I, I'm pulling. I'm pushing this off maybe to, to tomorrow morning because maybe tomorrow morning I will have a bit of a quiet moment where I can sit down and figure these things out. Um, uh, today evening I want to maybe uh, concentrate on 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 the juicy bits. If we today evening if we can get the level ending card done, that would be fantastic. I'd love to to, to finish that level ending card. That would be good. Can we do it? Okay, so new thing I discovered. Balls continue spinning. Okay, so let me see how that even works. Um, is over. Do we have this over? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's over something else. Um, I did, a, there was a check. I think it was on drop. Well, I had it initially on drop, but now it's um, <laughs> in update function uh, when we do the, and that's a bit of a, bit of a weird situation where we trigger the check if the level has ended when in the same function that triggers like a graphic animation. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like, that doesn't feel so great. Uh, it doesn't feel so that great. There we go, end game. You are working, hey Synogia. Well, you're, you're, you're hanging out in the chat a lot. What can I say? <laughs> uh, okay, so end game. Oh, okay, okay. So Endgame does kind of like um. Yeah. Okay. Good. So what Endgame is doing is, from what I can tell, it's it's calling the update function a little bit, which I am kind of not not really that hot about. And the draw function, and just like it does a bit of a weighty wait. I'm not so hard about it because you can click on things, but actually you cannot trigger anything. There's no nothing to interact with anymore, so maybe that's not too bad. Yeah, this is the function that we're gonna have to take a look at. So the problem is that right now that 
Update 60 and draw don't seem to... Hey, Semio74! Nice that you can drop by tonight. So I'm trying to figure out why the balls are not flying around. Because it's, it's triggering the draw function, right? And the draw function, there's the draw function. The draw function will trigger derv. So, and that should trigger draw game. And that will draw all of the things. And among the things that it will draw, it will draw, well, the particles is something that we are kind of like abandoning a little bit. We can maybe delete them later. But it will also draw the balos. And that's where we animate the balos, right? Is your update loop ending the game over and over because the game is finished? No. Um, because the... Well, I mean, to some extent. Oh, maybe that's the problem, huh? Oh, this could be the problem. Should we do like a custom? I mean, this is just like a... Yeah, the problem is like... Mm, it's a bit tough, man. It's a bit tough. Make a bye-bye mode. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe of creating a new mode. Let's try that. But I don't think that this is the problem. The thing is that I don't think that this is the problem. The thing is, like, let's watch this again a little bit. See, they're moving. They are moving. They're just not rotating. And I think this has more to do with the way we animate the Beidos. It might be that the time is not progressing. That might be the problem. If time is not progressing, that would that would that would explain. Which is, by the way, weird side effect. I'm kind of there's time progressing. Ah, there it is. Okay, the time's not progressing. Good, now we know the problem. So the solution is in fact to create uh, a separate update function, I think. So wait, so what does the function, do, update level function do? Um, this is bubbles. No, that's this level. Um, where is the update game? There we go. Um, okay, so animating breathing. Uh, key presses. Mouse buttons, okay. Circulate, calculate cursor position, okay. Moving halo. Moving drag cards. None of this is animating cards, none of this is interesting. Animate halo, non, not interesting. Not, not, not in the slightest. Failure ball animation, again, not interesting. Do splash, maybe interesting. 
That reminds me of Christmas, Christian. Oh, you mean the, the music? Ah, that sound reminds me. Oh, do you mean the sound that, um, the ding? Yeah, that is a little bit like that. Pretty, let's call it Gover. I will call it Gover. Game over. Um, do we, in this case we do want to do the splash. Um, but otherwise, none of this is. Oh, and, and maybe do the breathing, right? The breathing wouldn't wouldn't have worked anyway. So then the ending function is something like um, Yeah, something uh, I'm do going to do UPD equals UPD Gover. Gover, Gover. Um, these things we can do this already at this point. Uh, we can do this at this point. Just go to level and do music is the only thing that is remaining. So let's get this out. Um, yeah, I want to maybe also do govert equals um, t plus 320. No, actually, let's 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 set, let's set go to zero. I think that's okay. Um, and and then let's cut this out. Go in update function. Uh, this is go over. Uh, plus equals one. If go vert. Uh, equal uh, what was the what is number 360 320 if go over uh, is greater equals 320 then And I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna go to level selection screen. I'm gonna go to go to start because I have plans. I didn't reset it. No, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm down for the bad jokes. Don't worry. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Okay, so we do have to do some animating, huh? Um, that's good to know. That's good to know. Oh, that's interesting because I did it so fast.
<laughs> that's interesting. Okay, that's that's actually a bug that I discovered accidentally. Interesting. Okay, good. Then if it's finished and failure hashtag failure equals zero. So now they, they were rotating, that was good. Let's do it a bit slower. So we have our little update function, the, it, everything continues beautifully. Um, okay, so we, we, we figured this out. Balls respond to the ending chime. Now, that's a bit of an issue. I need to somehow access stats. We need to look at the stats. You can tell it is a bit. It's, it's kind of crazy. Uh, once you watch yourself be, like make mistakes or, or be a bit slower when you're a bit tired, you kind of realize that how much it affects you. I think if you're if you're young, you you think like oh pff, whatever, I'm just gonna power through the, the tiredness. But then if you get a bit wiser, you learn to see the you, you learn to see your flaws. and um, your failings. Um, okay, um, so we're looking for stats and then you realize that, oh, actually, there is actually very clear signs that you're getting tired. <laughs> um, so I wanted to look at those, let me switch. What is this? Um, also, why is the World of Warcraft ad here? Like, why can I get this, why? Stop seeing this ad, I don't know. Um, oh, interesting, to the time of day? Oh yeah, I, I vaguely remember. Uh, 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 uh. Where is mu uh, music? Okay, so stat 46 to uh, 56 return audio status. These are the newer versions of stat 16, those through, which return the same data with less precision. Okay, stat 46 return the index of the sound effect currently playing in the four channels, respectively. If no, okay, that's okay. Stat 50 to 53 return the note number of the sound effect currently playing on the four channels, respectively. Okay, so. How about, and this is the music pattern ID currently being, okay, this is the number of music patterns played, okay, that's okay. It is the number of ticks played in the current pattern. I think the note number here should be enough. Let's try that. So I want to trigger this on a second, on a, on a, on a third and sixth note.
Um, update. There we go. We look for uh, uh, RPD Gover here, and then gonna go um, debug one equals uh, stat fifty. Let me give you stat fifty. Oops. Okay, two and four is where we're gonna start triggering things. Night Squad! <laughs> hey, AG. If set 50 equals two, as if set 50. Equals four. Evening, folks. Hey, Gilbert. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. That's so fun. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is gonna we're gonna trigger those um, effects uh, based on on the notes being played. Chime, chime two. And then here chime three. And then here I want to, in the gameplay, we need another variable. We always need so many variables. It's, it's a bit crazy, but, but there's, that's how it works. See, the Gobert team you might actually don't need. Um, go over step equals uh, one. Giver, I, go, I want to go over step. Okay, um, and then we're gonna go if that uh, and go over step is smaller than two, then go over step equals two. And then uh, this and go over step is smaller than three, then go over step equals three. So now the, the goal is to, whenever there is a goer step, I want to trigger a... Um, I would like to trigger... Uh, oh my gosh, this, this is what we need to, to, to add a, a splash. Oh my gosh. We should maybe simplify this a little bit. So every time we add this, how many tokens is this? Sixty-three tokens just to trigger one splash. Oh my gosh! Well, what can you do? All right. Maybe there is a way of of, of making this. Um, maybe we can create a function for this. Um, but for now, I just want to I just want to go through this. You know, I want to go. I want to make one thing appear, and then we can make think, think about how to make uh, make it more. Uh... Technically, you could get rid of age and decrease max age. Um, there is some good reasons why I don't like doing that. Ah, I think the problem was that um, sometimes, and you have. Uh, I mean, okay. Granted, absolutely right, yes. Um, sometimes there are situations where you want to keep track of how old a particle is and then do things depending on that. Um, 
in our case, I mean, there is the fate start thing, right? Where we uh, want a thing to be for a while to not fade out and then start fading out. And I think that could we make this, I'm not sure if we can make this even work with, if, if we only have a max H and not H. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't need. I don't need the tokens. I don't. Need, I don't need them right now. Um, Balo. Was it Balo or Balo? Balo. Okay. Balo. One. Why? Balo one X. Um, C. Um, now this is going to be a very quick one, and we're going to start fading very late. Um, no friction, okay. And the speed is gonna be like this. Okay, let's, let's, let's see how that looks. I like it, I don't like how, um, I don't like how the they are not following the Balos. function cannot fix, right? For S nodes, splash do S dot X equals <clears throat> that's that's an easy that's a bit of a hack but whatever and i'm gonna go go over step minus one go over step minus one let's try that Um, Balos? No, Balo. Balo. So maybe it doesn't exist. What's the goer step here? Here we set the goer step to one. Ah, ah, I said, I get it, I get it. So we can go like if goer step is greater than one then. Okay, that works better, I like it. I could also say like something like we can program things right attach equals beta one right 
And then when we animate the balos, uh, balos, oh no, 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 the splashes. Um, do splash. If s dot attach, then s dot x equals s dot attach dot x, and then the same thing with y. So we just have if there is an object that we're supposed to attach things to, then we're just gonna set the x position to that. this a little bit slower let's set it down to one down dum, 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 dum. Oh, by the way the frick I've overwrote it kind of so yeah I but I kind of want to have frick to set to one but in these fricks what does it even look uh, it wasn't fricked actually now it's fricked I want to see how that looks like uh, see it looks very different Let's set it to 099. Ah, that, I like that a lot better. That's good. Okay, so let's let's bring it back here. Um, oh yeah, I, I actually I changed it, right? I want to see want to see. Bring it up here, 0 0.5, really slow. Let's try that. Mm, I don't like it when it's that small. It kind of creates like this kind of, um, so slow. It kind of creates like this kind of shockwave effect. So let's bring it the speed up a little bit. Try that. Okay, I like that. I think that was good. Now let us um, let us just do a function for this. Chime ballo. Looks good the speed of the ball drop halo looks good the speed of the ball drop halo rise feels less laid back than I thought you were going for um, the ball drop Oh, you mean the, the halo looks dramatic? The the way the halo is moving? You, th you, th you think it looks a bit too dramatic? Ah, oh, Jesus, what, I'm, what am I doing? Uh... Actually, I don't need to set X and Y to anything, right? I can just set it to zero. It will save me maybe some... Okay.
Oh, you were surprised. All right, because we're not doing it with a Beto number two. interesting. Did you see this? That was an interesting bug. Ah, I know what the bug is. Interesting. That's an interesting bug. What are we listening to? Oh, Zelda and Chill still. Okay, that's good. Um... Is over. No. What is the name of that function? No, no. It's finished, not that it's over. It's over. If drag is not equals nil, then I'll just call it if drag, and then return false. And that, yeah. The problem is like uh, when I, there's a function that checks if there's anything on the screen. And if I was still dragging something around, it thought, oh, because it's, if something is being dragged around, it's no longer in on the board. And it was only checking the board, it wasn't checking if something is being dragged around. So it thought like, oh, the board is empty. <laughs> it's over. See, this is good. This was a good, good ending. But what's the bug? Secondary splashes, oh, is that deliberate? No, that's not, that's just deliberate. That's, that's something I've been working on. What do you mean secondary splashes? I don't know, I don't know. You mean the, that the fact that the little balls are splashing? Like the, there's the waves around the balls. That's something that I'm doing, that I'm working on right now. Um, okay. Okay, so we got this far. And then once once we get there, I want the end screen to appear. And I want to kind of bring it up. I don't, don't want to just like appear. I want to just slowly bring it up. So that's going to be a bit of a diff difficulty. Yeah, no, that's fine, Squidlight. Keep asking, it's, it's okay. I, I, I'm happy to bring you up to speed. Yeah, I, I guess like I have something in my in my mind, a certain vision, and I'm never actually like sitting down and explaining every little detail. Um, so yeah, it's kind of normal that some things might might be like, oh, that's new. <laughs> was that always planned? Because in my mind, it was always planned, so it seems obvious, but. <laughs> Some people coming in might not be. I realize there's sometimes where the chime will be behind her head, but I'd rather see the like the wave will be behind her head. But I like rather have the waves appear than just not to show anything when the when the sound effect comes. Okay, so let me um, remove the debug stuff. So what are we looking for? Let me open up the. I wish the S Sprite had like a preview of the different things that you level end. That's the one I'm looking for. So look, 
trying to create a screen like this, where there's gonna be like the, the tapes. Um, maybe they will, they will come from both sides. Or maybe this will just open up and they will be moving all constantly sideways. And then in the middle, we're gonna say if uh, might cleared and then the numbers. That's the goal. Um, so we're gonna like draw this kind of sash, right? And I think for this, in order to achieve this, we actually do have to We have to do a new draw function. Draw over. It's gonna be, you know, very similar to draw game. Call draw game from here. Okay, and you know what? I'm just let me just draw the sash, and then we can maybe like make make it animate. I think that will, will, might be easier, huh? So we're gonna do something like this. This is what's the height? Uh, the height is what? It's gonna be the 50. 50, 48, 28, 7. Now the problem is this rect fill thing should only happen later. So I'm just not going to do this. And we're just going to do it. Or, or actually, no, no, I have an even better idea. Um, go over step equals four. We're just going to set it to four. Uh, and so if go over step equals four, then rect fill. Okay, we're drawing something. That's good. Um, it's not what I wanted to draw. Oh yeah. <laughs> Because it's coordinates, it's not, it's not width and height. Okay, now now we see this. Okay, now the problem I have is. Uh, 
that I kind of Okay, wait. I had like a debugging function, right? I've, I've hidden it somewhere. Maybe a, yeah, here. Hello texture debug. I want to get this. Actually, draw it all the way throughout the draw go where I want to see what happens. Yeah, um, really liking your stroke waste. Thank you, Eiji. I like it. I, I'm glad that you liked it. Um, so we have a bit of a problem, and that is we want to show like those 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 strips uh, of the halo, but those strips do not exist anymore at the time that we want to draw them. So there's there's multiple ways of doing this. We could try to draw them somehow. By doing like a prep halo with some with some some information in there. Okay, um, there's... How many times are we actually calling the prep halo function? Once, okay. Mm, hear me out. We're gonna go HL. So we have a prep halo here. And we do another prep halo here. Um, that's a bit redundant maybe, but 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 yeah. And then the only thing that we don't want to do is then we need to kind of maybe do like a like a backup payload basically. Let me see where is it. Yeah, we're spawning the ball. And halo equals halo. And then we're gonna go. Just here, okay, 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 okay. Then this should us get us. Ah, there it is. There it is. It's still there. Okay. So the idea is then that we do uh, this and this and. Instead of 110, it's gonna be at 99. Um, 
how, I think it's nine in width, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Does coffee only take PayPal? Apparently I never updated after moving this country six years ago. Um, it, sh it takes, um, it technically takes also, uh, what's the, There was there was another one like Stripe or something Stripe yeah, uh, but I never got around to um, to um, turn it on. I have to do it still. So if you want to use Stripe, then strap in. I will I will turn it on eventually. Also, you also moved countries. Ah, two this countries still. Okay. What country are you in? And then do the rect fill with a maybe a more conspicuous color so we can see the Gibraltar. Wow, Gibraltar. Cool. The, the the big rock with the monkeys. Is that is that the the, the one Gibraltar? Yeah, that's the one. Six grammars. <laughs> Is that small? Oh my god. Oh, only for 16 years? That's a lot to spend this, spend on a rock. Six square miles. I always thought it was such a dramatic place. Like, that's, that's a one hell of a view out there, huh? Okay, um, UPD, 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 go over here. We want to maybe do something like sash y equals mm, 50 plus 9,8. How much is that? Uh, 148 divided by 2. That is 74. 74, okay. So, sash y is 74, sash, sash, sash h equals 0. You could be the most famous person I know who lived in Gibraltar. <laughs> Famous? Well, I heard of you. <laughs> That's true for me as well. I, there's one more famous person who was in Gibraltar, but she wasn't living there. She just visited. And that's going to be my wife. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> My problem is giving coffee for lazy devs. Um, this does not accept um, Argentine coins. What? What? Oh, don't worry, Sinoja. Don't feel pressured. If it doesn't work, then, you know. Because, like... Yeah, it's probably some kind of PayPal thing, right? It's, and then, like, me debugging this and setting up a whole different system is, is probably... Uh, I don't know if it will pay off. I was thinking maybe moving to uh, PayPal or something, but uh, man, PayPal, 
that didn't feel so great. And coffee, I was already on coffee, so I thought like, I'm gonna stick with coffee for now. Uh, but yeah, maybe if there's uh, at some point in the future, if there's any better crowdfunding platform, I will definitely switch to that. For a while, I was considering this. There was like this kind of like a socialist <laughs> or, or or something like this crowdfunding pa platform. I have to maybe look this up. Maybe there. I don't know if they're still there. Um. Equals. So what is the height? Ninety nine minus forty. Uh, no, ninety eight minus fifty. Forty eight. Uh, forty eight minus ses, sesh h divided by ten. Oh, plus. Yeah, Patreon is more popular, and there's good reasons for for using Patreon. Um, but I don't know; it's just like this um, all this, this weird like all ed eggs in one basket thing. Um, and I mean, I might I might do both platforms. Uh, I, I I'm not necessarily against that if if it brings more people on, and more people are. It's true that more people are more. Um, um, how do you call it? Uh, familiar or um, um, is familiar the right word? Comfortable. That's what, what I was using. Comfortable with with um, Patreon. Um, sesh Y. So this is gonna be Sesh Y. Whoops. Sesh y, sesh y minus nine, sesh y plus sesh height. Um, sesh y plus sesh. But it's there. It's it's right there. Oh, you like the, the, the track? Oh, maybe. Ah, oh, Sashi, I wrote Sashi. It is a really good track, I agree. Tears of the Kingdom from Breath of the Sky. Uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I just want to say Breath of the Sky Sword. <laughs> Man, that's, that's a. Play some some Zelda games. Oh, look, it's working! <laughs> what is that? What is what just happened there?
The donation thing is weird to me. I always wondered why people do it. If I donate an, an amount of a couple of times, then don't that hurtful to the creator. What if I subscribe then cancel? Losing subscribers even on YouTube stinks. Yeah, I think the... I think this is not so much... Well, I think... It has so I think it has advantages on both sides um, doing the subscription thing. Um, this advantage on the side of the person giving the money is that they can commit to something uh, to being like I'm gonna su be supporting this creator and they don't have to come back and do this decision again. you know they don't have to maintain this 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 payment history, which for some people might be just like it's you know it's it's done. I'm paying five per month gone out of my mind you know and you don't have to be like oh you know how, when it was the last time when I donated something is it time to, for me to donate now you know it's like this kind of like it's an ongoing process uh, for the uh, artist <laughs> artist for the um, person who receives the money and uh, doesn't have to be an artist right um, and for them it's kind of nice because they see that there is like a, a ongoing income uh, that they can depend on to some extent right obviously people can cancel uh, always but but there's a, some people made a commitment to pay something every month um, so yeah these are the advantages obviously that doesn't you know that's not a thing that fits everybody's um, approach to things it's some people would want to pay large chunks and yes that's better generally because transferring money is you know the paypal always takes a certain percentage away so like huge chunks but reality are technically better because you get more of that money um, yeah but again like the um the unpredictable unpredictability of of it can be difficult and for the creator and the requirement to maintain that uh, because yeah, if you, if you do, if you pay once and then it, it's, it happens and then you, know, you forget about it, you're maybe distracted and so forth, and then you, uh, you you know you might you might not pay it a second time. But on the other hand, that's kind of nice as well because then it's like you having to maintain it might be nice because it's like if you forget it, then maybe it wasn't on your mind and maybe that makes sense that yet you stop paying that person. I don't know. I haven't had that kind of view at all. It's your choice. I love my supporters whenever they donate or don't. For me, a single time donate is a really heartwarming moment. Not even speaking about my monthly supporters, but who am I to judge others when they spend? Yeah, sure. If they choose not to support me anymore with, with, with money, it's their choice. It doesn't grow on trees as we know. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, prioritize uh, as you see fit, for sure. Mass imagery, hey! No, I think it's a good it's a good question. That's why I, 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 I stopped because I think this is something I also think about a lot. I do not support a lot of people on Patreon myself. Um, I did once uh, when I was uh, still doing like <laughs> Netrunner card tournaments. But then I kind of like um, my Patreon account was transferred to another person and so I didn't subscribe for the Patreon for a long time. I'm supporting now I think one podcast. The <laughs> the uh, what is it uh, a more civilized age podcast which is a great podcast about star wars but they're because i really like the people that do it, doing it okay why is this animation not not happening why is this animation not happening I know why. Haha. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes! Yes! Yeah, but it feels bad to cancel the subscriptions, but I guess that's the idea, right? Like, it's supposed to... Um, it, it, it has to be like this, this, oh, you know, I'm letting this person down kind of situation. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I just like, if you if you have to cancel, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> I know that it feels probably worse to you than it feels to me. Obviously, I don't like see people leave, but, you know, it's like... I um, I respect the decisions. I don't take it personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, I see something I very like to, or that is fun. It's, it's difficult to track track of them, but something that is that is good to see that people sometimes. You know, uh, uh, cancel the subscription for a month or two, and then they come back again. And so that's that's fine. That's fine. That's perfectly okay. Oh yeah, sure. I can I can I can run it with the. So uh, let me let me crank up the volume a little bit. Right? Is that good? What's good? What's good? Yeah, yeah, this is, this, this is nice. Yeah, the ripple effect the, the brought a lot to the table. It's kind of like, creates like really nice associations, you know, being underwater is often like, you know, like being in a dream world and, and you know, diving under and coming up. Like a dream is often like something that you, that is associated with diving. It was not updated, the music. Uh, I, I, it was updated in the sense that the, the volume has been adjusted by by, um, by Gruber Music. I, and I want to give him, you know, I get another some more opportunities to do passes and maybe also tweak the sound effects. But yeah, no, it's good. Um, so... Okay, so let me do a to-do list because I, I want to... Don't wanna. I wanna keep my eyes on the price here. So balls responded ending shine done. Level ending card kind of done. Okay. So we want to have um, ending card text, and we want to have ending card animation, and then ending ending card. Um, bouton. Dessinez moi un bouton. Um, I don't think we need any more level ending juice afterwards. That it was the level ending juice, I would say. I want to make sure that there's no uh, undo when ending. But I think we kind of already have that. Let me see real quick. Did not end, uh, and I cannot undo anymore because now the it has been turned off. Cool. A uh, good. Um, then wait. Any card animation? Um, yeah, scroll. Let's do the scroll animation. You speak French? <laughs> yeah. Well, I speak. <laughs> High school French. <laughs> that's not that's not good French. 
Mais oui, bien sûr. Fromage. Okay, um, I am looking for, I want to find out how the scrolling of the, of the, I think that happens in the draw function, right? Yeah, wait, 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 let me look at this. Let me go to the draw, draw game. How, so prep halo, right? We technically already, this has to be already he happening here in the prep halo function. Because here we have halo R, right? So how does halo R, where do we do halo R? Okay, here we're animating the halo R. Oh, that's oh, that, that's the, the fake halo. That's the normal halo here. Halo dr. Okay, let's let's copy this stuff and let's put it in the update function of uh, Gober. rotation halo dr equals this minus halo x that's okay mon dieu c'est très bon bien sûr and that's all i have to <laughs> that's pretty that's okay that's okay I think we can just go like like this halo r we don't we can just skip this just like simplify things a little bit so this should this should get us some rotation let's see how that looks You, what do you need? You need baguette and fromage. That's all you need to survive in, in, in France. And maybe some wine. Although I'm not a big wine drinker. Okay. This this is going this is going the correct direction. Derv Marina makes accidentally clicked on Twitch. How is it going? It's going well. It's going very well. I wanted to inverse this. Let's see if that works. Oops. Can I can I make it inverted? No, I can't. Um, let's see, let me, let me, let me bring up SSPR. <laughs> Best mistake. Oh yeah, there's a flip X, okay. 
destination width and height and flip X. Okay. So, um, so destination width is 128, destination height is 9, and then flip X. So true. Gonna stop for a moment. All right. I went to the PC to work on P8, but watch this a bit. It said, "Cool. Bye bye. Bye, Squid Light." Yes, that's what we were looking for. This is good. This is excellent. So now I want to do the following. I want to do a clipping rectangle. That clipping rectangle will be at oh, Zelda and Chill has stopped. Let's do Chocobo and Chill. Twenty-eight and sash height. That's why. It's just like draw everything in 14 and we're gonna see if there's any kind of leakage happening or something. Yeah, that's not good. Ah, see, there is a bit of a leakage happening. Ah, it's, it's rounding errors again. Rounding errors! But you know what? It's fine. It's fine because it's gonna be white anyway, so it's, it doesn't matter that much. It doesn't matter that much. Um, so for now, let us continue with our program. So we wanted to do an SSPR, two SSPR statements, and then some text, and then maybe a button. So we're gonna go print. We can already do that. Um, key. Oh, actually, let's call it seed now, not not key. A move counter. I do. I think we do have one, right? Uh, gameplay. Yeah, steps. There we go. A 
Okay, where are we putting these things? Right here. Okay, so we are putting them on. Oops. Forty. 43 I say up here, but wait, wait, that's actually not the most recent version. Oh man. I hope I saved it. Well, let's, let's, let's pull up Photoshop. So if, if I get the, the <coughs> this ending screen finished, all displayed then we're gonna gonna end the stream for today and we're gonna return tomorrow uh, uh, uh. oh yeah there we, there we go yeah, yeah yeah okay okay let's see this is maybe even better yeah it's 43 43 and then sash y plus um, 24 24 and the color is going to be zero Let's figure out the SSPRs that we have to do. <clears throat> so we have to do a mind. Actually, we, we can take this from, we can take the mind from uh, the start screen. Uh, these are the SSPR shape of mind. This is the one. Yeah. So this is going to be mind and then location is going to be sash y plus eight and the x position is going to be So this was mind and now comes uh, clear. <clears throat> so that's going to be eight, six. Eight, six. How wide is this bad boy? We're starting at 8.6 and we're going all the way to 125. So 125 minus 8.6. Third, uh, let's, let's go 40 then. It's this, 40. Uh, okay, and then the location is gonna be the same height, but um, the X position is gonna be different. Turn off the clipping rectangle. Okay, let's see how. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. No, this this doesn't this doesn't concern us. Hmm. 
That was good. It felt good. And maybe we animate them a little bit slower. They look a bit hectic. Let's try that. Um, the color is not quite right. to turn the transparency on, but I will derve. go over. Damn, 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 there might be the man. There might be hi. How are doing? <clears throat> yes. Excellent. I love it. Floppy console, I haven't seen that. Oh my f juice! <laughs> juice! Um okay, so I think the texture may be a slightly different color. I think that we should go with the with the color number five. Color number five. Oh. Uh, let's try that. <laughs> People are gonna draw the juice. <laughs> yeah, gonna. Oh no, that that looks not good. That 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 ain't good. Um. Try color one. Slightly different design in my in my original concept art. I mean, I I just could change it. Ah, but it, I don't think it will work, will it? No, it won't work. Well, you know what? Let's let's leave it at at zero for now. Uh, we definitely gonna have some more. Because we also have to draw the, um, the play button. And how does that work? Do, do we have, do I have to create a butt? Enjoying my juice. <laughs> Create a joke, uh, not a juice, the, the button. I want to create a button. How, do, how, do, how, does, how, do, how does button work? I think, oh, I think it's here. I think it's here when we start the game. No, not to start the game. Um, here. Mm, here, butts.
Do 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 Press it, okay? So when are we drawing the butts? Is, is what I'm asking. Is was there just like this? Is it just like a uh, universal do, do, draw function? Uh, oops. Um, draw. Hmm. When do we draw the butts? Robots, okay. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Draw, go over. Pop, pop. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, there's a button here. I cannot interact with the button, but that might not be the worst thing for now. Could be a bit higher, I feel. So let's go 38. Um, generally, the placement we're gonna figure out, you know, in seconds. So we cannot interact with the button. So how do we do that? We, um, again, we're we gonna go in the update. Logo, maybe not. Two mouse buttons. Uh, UPD. No. UPD. Go. And go if go over step. equals four then okay, I can interact with the mouse button that's good looks a bit off center maybe we can address this in the future or maybe we can address it now um uh, that should be a button of the width 30. It seems like it's not it's 38. a little bit to snap in maybe we can we can fix that as well but otherwise it's good it's a little bit too much spacing at the top and too little at the bottom um, let's move everything up a slightly bit so six six to uh, 28 and then here maybe seven. Let's try that. Yeah. 
Yes, it looks, I think it's one pixel up. I'm sorry for being such a, such a, but you know. And then yeah, we need to make sure that this is somehow snapping. If sash sash h if abs says says sash h forty seven minus says says h is smaller than zero point five then sash h equals forty seven sash y. equals 50. Good night, Aichi. I will be calling it quits as well in a second. Just want to make sure that this end screen looks nice. Yes, that was good. I can click OK and I feel like a, everything's a little bit too far down. I don't know. Maybe maybe should, we should we should make it a bit higher. So you know that's something I'm going to deal with next next time. I just want to uh, be able to click on the button. So the button says okay. That happens. Update like this. Do music. Go to start. We've done it, we've done it, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, next up, level ending. We want to have the uh, start sound and uh, sound overhaul. Um, move a bit higher, that's something we're gonna do. No undo an ending, that's kind of done, I think. We, d we cannot really undo an ending. Um, Then the next step will be cards flying into the halo, uh, which is difficult. And then maybe adding halo dots. That's something we thought about. And then there's gonna be just, just, just a bunch of juice that we can just start ticking off. And of course, the tutorial. Still two days left, so I'm f I have a good feeling about this somehow, for some reason. We might do it, we might be able to do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful day, on day number 16 of the stream. Tomorrow we will be back on day number seven, number 17. Um, tomorrow actually, tomorrow we will be back on day number 17. There we go. Uh, tomorrow I might actually be streaming a bit earlier. I will start streaming a bit earlier because I have to pick up my daughter from kindergarten. Um, and I wanna maybe get some extra hours in in the morning. So uh, we're gonna get some bit of a head start and of course in the evening as well. Um, have a good night. See you next time around. Bye bye. Boop, boop, boop. Boop.